chat! <laughs> Fucking hell, chat, what do we get ourselves into? Holy shit! Yeah. How's it going? How's it going? Anyone that is here, sound off like you got a pair. So, um, yeah, I forgot completely that it's uh, across the pond weekend. And, uh, if you guys want to see what we're dealing with here, Europe is descending upon America like the holy fucking ghost. My god. Yep. Like, let's take, for instance, Boston. We got, uh, 117 arrivals, 22 departures. And we are headed down to Dallas. They've got 176 arrivals now, holy fuck nuggets. And six departures. And then we're gonna head over to uh, Chicago. 173 arrivals, 11 departures. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are what I like to call fucked. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized that's going. No, 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 fuck off. Anyway, all right. Jesus fucking Christ, guys. All right, so here's what we're thinking is going down, right? We think we're going to... We're definitely getting out of Boston before they all show up. We're getting the hell out of Boston. Uh, we'll probably beat them to Dulles. However, we're not going to beat them to Chicago. And here's the thing with that. Our last flight is going to take forever to get to the fucking runway. Because those guys are probably going to turn around and head right back to Europe. Or at least the majority of them. So it's it's gonna be busy. It's gonna be fucking busy. Just helping we can get you know slots and shit. But uh, I just ran downstairs, grabbed my monster. We are going to be well caffeinated. I'm gonna murder the music here because we're gonna just pretty much get right the fuck into it. Just gotta get this bitch open. Ah, there it is. That pop. That's what I was looking for. All right, so Joey and I have done some preliminary things also. Say hi to Joey. Joey's here with me. Uh, hello, everybody. Good day. Good day. <sighs> I think I just chugged way too much monster at once. Anyhow. Well, hey, on the bright said I'll be high fucking energy for this shit, because I'm going to need it. Sir, you just levitated. <laughs> so Joey's flying the uh, American Airlines A320 with the uh, the CFMs, it looks like. Fuck yeah, bud. Yeah, the CFMs. I'm in the American library. Yeah. The CFMs today. All right, so we've got our clearance already. That came through uh, PDC. Holy hell, chat. Okay, um, what do we need to do first? Let's get our departure and arrival information in real quick. So we are leaving via 22 right in the Blizzard 6 departure through the Blizzard transition and arriving in Dulles one-way run ray. Run way, good God, I can't talk. One right, uh, through final. I'm just gonna take final on that one because we'll probably end up getting vectors. Uh, Hyper Nine arrival. Hyper Nine star through the BAF transition. We're going into Bath. Right route. Let's check over shit and make sure it's all Gucci. Oh, Gucci and scoochily doochily. Legs page, that's what I'm looking for. Let me not zoom in that far. That all looks correct. Step on down through here. Everything lines up and it should take us. Yeah, Tycon. Tycon should be our last. Our last point and then we'll get vectors or radar vectors on the Mosby 
And Mosby will be final for the runway. Cool, 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 cool. All right, index. We'll just go straight to the route page, activate, execute. Time for some performance initializations. Oh, shit, I got to get boarding. I forgot to do that. No, not deboarding. Shit, fuck. Restart quaddle. I hit the wrong button. Ah, quaddle. Quaddle. Quetzal quaddle. Mm. Oh my. That sounds like a skill issue. Well, hello, darling. Quaddle. And we're gonna request boarding, not deboarding. Like some fucking idiots. Some brief panel. So you guys can't quite see it. However, I'm actually using my Boeing yoke for once. Oh, three at zero. That's it. I'm all over the fucking place today. Uh, two six two four ninety three knots. Oh my god. Minus fifty seven on the outside air temp. Transition altitude's good. We'll get our zero fuel weight in there, make sure it matches up. 119.8, 121.6. Fuck it, it's close enough. Reserve fuel, 2.2. .2. And what's our cost index? 74. Compute that. Insufficient fuel, my ass. Oh, I'll throw in planned fuel. That's right, we haven't gotten... Ground services. We'll do a flat 16,000 because we might end up in a hold. Fuck off, Uber Eats. Start fueling. Anyway. Uh, 16.0 is the play in fuel. In one limit. We will need to refer to the EFB for that. Oh, also, chat, we are, uh, we're using Active Sky. I did one test flight with it, and it was fucking gorgeous. If you're in the Discord, you can find the uh, screenshots I posted to that. But, uh, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm very glad I got it. Um, we are taking off. That's right. 22, right. God damn it. I keep forgetting I can't use the scroll wheel on the FB. 22 right, runway conditions currently dry, but that could change, so I'm gonna just set it for wet. Optimum, optimum, anti ice, off, packs on, import weather, and cacumulate. Uh, take off one D rate with a selected temperature of 46 degrees. Oh yeah, 24k D rate. We'll go climb one. Take off flaps. I'm gonna guess is five. Yeah, that's five. Then 30, 38, 43. Well, delivery hello, Kalem 6 to tail position Bravo 35 with information for the All right, cool. Let's say V2 plus 10. What was it again? 43, so 153. We are wasting uh, no fucking time today. It did say climb via the SID, so I'm going to take a look and see what our altitude restrictions are. Okay, so it's all at or above. Set altitude 10,000. It was already there anyway. What is the heading of the runway? 22 right, 22 right, 22 right, 215. Chip Lucode, 1281, thanks to Foxtrot and Charlie 18. Monitor Boston Ground, 121.9er, he will give you the push instructions. Cool. Nav, LNAV. Alright, that should be just about it. 
go to the overhead and set our uh, pressurization panel. And Boston delivery. Good. What is the elevation uh, in? Okay, 300 feet. That's already set. Cool, cool. And we don't need to change anything on the overhead just yet. Thanks for Fox. Just to get one more time, I missed what you said. I uh, don't need to switch out of brake start uh, to you quite yet. Uh, we're at alpha 10, ready for push and start. No, just for the yeah, hell of it. Uh, Do a fire alpha test. Your discussion. Advise ground at spot 7 that it attacks you. Or not. What does it mean when he says advise ground at spot 7? 5735, you know where uh, spot 7 is, just to confirm, correct? Uh, if you look on your... Map of the uh, airport? Actually, negative. I do not forget. Actually, hang on. Uh, taxi. Uh, say again? Uh, I just put a link in the chat. It is page 21 on there. It is a big map of Boston Airport, and it will have spot seven labels. It's all the gates and stuff. Just call them when you're at that spot. Gotcha, I appreciate it for care for some big boss. Damn, which one was it at? Or which one was it on? It's not on the taxi route. It's not on parking taxi. gates. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good afternoon. So if you look at uh, the parking gates chart under taxi for the airport, you'll see the different spots. Uh, they are in, uh, they're the startup slash release positions. Yeah, it's uh, chart 10-9 Bravo. I see, I see. I see. 565, you're so quite like, quiet when said, you just said that. Uh, say again. If he said spot seven for us, we'll be at that little Bravo seven thing. Oh, uh, sorry, missed that last one. Well, he'll tell us Bravo seven so because it is Bravo is seven, but yeah. Advise ground at spot seven, ready to taxi. Um, if you don't know where spot seven is, it's, it's uh. So those two are probably so over at like gate the, 15 uh, or 14. Big map, and it'll show you where spot seven is. Just call ground when you get there. Okay, let's. Well, hey, you know what? Prepared for this. That we are. That we are. Take a quick screenshot from my right side here. Oh, that's pretty. And we'll wait for passengers to get boarded. Oh, uh, while that's going on, I'm gonna real quick recheck Adis. Because it should have... Yeah, we got information Foxtrot now. Let me take some of that info down. Oh, let's see. What do we have here? Winds 230 for 8 knots. So damn near right down the nose once we're on the runway. Uh, let's see. Info Fox Drive. Fox clear to uh, Springs 1833, Bravo 29 with Fox Drive. Uh, we're waiting for push. Springs 1833, Boston Ground, hello. Uh, oh, I found your gate there. Uh, push is going to be with ground, monitor ground, 121.9. You can push instructions. It might just be a second because there's a uh, KLS pushing behind you in the alley. So just wait a second, you might call you in a moment. Okay, monitor ground, point nine, Springs 1833. Well, once I'm done boarding, I'm going to go ahead and call for pushback. All right. 70 out of 111 packs. Yeah, hey, do it.
Honestly, using the 320 on Vatsim is nice because of how simple it is to get everything set up. Ain't that the truth? Oh my god! I'm excited. It's gonna be busy. It is. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna I'm... be interesting. It's gonna be a good learning experience for us. So. <laughs> you know, there are some moments that I really wish I was right-handed, and this is one of them. Because, like, with this Boeing yoke on my desk, I've got my keyboard to the left of it and my mouse to the right, but my keyboard's in the way of me having anywhere to, like, write on my notepad. And that's when Sasha pops in and says, skill issue, which, fuck it. More like space issue. Pretty much. Let's take a look around the airport. What do we got going on? We got... An SAS A320 back there? What the hell? That's probably an A321, and I'm just looking at it at a weird angle. Another SAS plane, KLM over there. KLM, how the hell y'all get a 7-3 to the U.S.? That's somebody landing. I don't know what airline that is. Looks like a... A3... A330, maybe? No, that's a 300. Hang on, let me, let me, let me do some, oh, FedEx no. FedEx 420, Boston Can't Ground, see. Boston Shit. Clearance, uh, monitor Boston Ground, 121.9er, and just make sure your, your, uh, trend spotter's on. Monitor Ground, 121, decimal minor, FedEx 420. Air Canada, 755, at... Gate Bravo 3, ready for push and start with information for Oxtra on board. I know 3 out of 111. Now let me check sim, uh, the sim map. See where the hell everyone is, or somewhere, that's it. Air Canada 755. Oh god, they're by. getting close. We'll stand by. Yeah, I've got a bunch of, uh... That's all I did, put in the time, 1730. A lot of them are already on... on descent. And no, I had 10 minutes, because it's a second for him to get out there. Yeah. Damn, chat is fucking empty. Ain't nobody is saying nothing. Where the hell is Paul? You know what? Paul's probably flying this right now. He's probably on his way to the East Coast as we speak. Very well could be. And the Lufthansa 74 probably came out of like Stuttgart or something. Hey, Canada 75, all student clearance. Hello. Uh, push in the ramp to your discussion. Advise right. now. I'm going to need this Fox page because I need to remember what the hell my uh, call sign is. Let's yeah. yeah. set that there. Yep, we know where spot 7 is and uh, push it at our discretion and we'll monitor ground and ready taxi for Air Canada 75. 75, actually, just uh, call him. You can contact, uh, you're allowed to contact at spot 7. Boarding completed. I will right, we'll contact him on spot 7, Air Canada 75. All right, let's get the anti-collision lights on. Go down here, release the fuel truck, release ground power. And remove the chocks. Prepare for pushback and call this motherfucker. I'll, uh, I'll wait and go after you. Allahu Akbar. All right. Um, what is it, clearance we're talking to? Yeah, delivery. All right. One, two, one, dust, almost six, five. Yeah, I'm on there. And then ground to be over to... One, two, one, decimal, Boston delivery, good afternoon. Uh, this is United 1490 at Bravo 22 with Foxtrot on board. Looking for a push and start. United 1490, Boston ground, hello. 
Uh, your, so your Bravo 20, yeah, monitor boss of ground, one, two, one point nine, or he'll give you push. Monitor ground, he'll give me push, thank you. All right, switching over to ground. Lots of way at spot echo, please. I don't have jurisdiction for that. Copy that, it's very close to this. Uh, next would be Boston Tower, right? Or Departure? No, it'd be Tower. I don't know which Boston Tower, tower though. Good afternoon, I'm Sentry 9 on Bravo for a kilo. Uh, Iberia 1789 Heavy Boston, hello. Uh, hold short of taxiway, kilo. Hold short kilo, Sentry and any other, sorry, United 1490 Boston pushback onto uh, Alpha is approved, advised, ready, taxi, one way to join. Pushback on the Alpha, advised, ready to taxi, United 1490. Uh, would you like for me nose right or nose left? Uh, no, facing north, so nose uh, right. Nose right, United 1490, I'll contact you when I'm ready. All right, facing north on Alpha. Breaks off. Alpha November, cross one. The probe heats on. Electric hydraulic pumps. The fuel pumps on. Alpha Boston, ground runway one five. I'm sorry, taxi Bravo, Quebec Alpha. Bravo, Quebec Alpha to the ramp. Ambiria 1789, give way to the Embraer, joining 120 Bravo, and then uh, follow the traffic, Bravo, Alpha 1, Alpha. Alright, let's get the engines up and running. We do not have time to dawdle. We gotta get out of the way. Roger, uh, Taxi Lima, Bravo, Hoxhoro, Zulu. Lima. Bravo, short to Zulu, FedEx, Sir, Vector, Vector, as you may or may not know, the cross the pond event is currently happening, which means the ocean is full of planes. Uh, you flying in the opposite direction uh, could be a problem, which is why we have a procedure where we need to request a departure release for you. That might take a bit of time, there's going to be a delay. So because of that, I'll need to hold you somewhere else currently. So, Four point eight six. Taxi right on Alpha 1. Yeah, that's about right good. Alpha. Hold short of taxiway Zulu on Alpha. Roger, right at Alpha 1, right Dude. on Alpha. God, that kid is loud. Go back and hold Zulu. Um, speed bird to Papa Victor. Okay, how far am I pushing? God damn. I'm supposed to uh, stop loud. on Bravo 6. Uh, skip on gate number? American 1856, we're at Bravo 21. Okay, American 1856, first back on the Echoes, approved advisory taxi, one way two to right, and when able, set the mode to see on the and squawk uh, 1351. Uh, push back, hold short Echo, contact ready for taxi, and we'll uh, enable squawk mode C, uh, American 1856. Then X420, heavy continue, Bravo, hold short on November. Get flaps five. Takeoff speeds are still good. Was that for FedEx for Zulu? Set parking brakes. Hey, bud, he told FedEx me to do taxi, Bravo, uh, squawk mode C, but taxi, I am Bravo, not doing it. Fairways 1833. You don't have it set to automatically do that on V Pilot? It should. I need to turn it to on instead of auto. Traffic. So we're good now. Boston ground, uh, Delta 321, uh, Alpha 17. We have information. Fox Trot, ready for pushback and start. Delta 320 on Boston ground, pushback at the Alpha, at the Delta ramp is at your discretion. Pull up All to right. spot 7 and call me at spot 7. We're AP ready. off. We'll call you at spot 7. Taxi light on. My turn off on. And I'm gonna get out of this intersection as soon as this fucking pushback tug is gone. Twenty five thirty three Boston, hello, taxi left bra uh, left bravo, right kilo to the ramp. 
Plus Bravo right kill is around top 523. Alright. Boston Ground United 1490 ready to taxi. Uh, well, you had a 1490 standby, controller change in, pro, uh, in progress. Break, break. FedEx 420 heavy, taxi left November, cross runway 15 right, hold short runway 15 left. Left November, cross 15 right, hold short 15 left, FedEx 420. Peter 2, Papa Victor, I don't, I'm not sure what you're doing right now because I told you to hold short of Zulu and you're, I guess, on a trip. Taxi left, <laughs> left onto Zulu. It's like I told you to hold short of Zulu Enjoy and I guess you're on a trip. Right. Join runway 15 right. <laughs> And then hold short of oh, on runway 15 right, hold short of taxi in November. Roger, are you trying uh, to have us on 15 right? Is that correct? Correct. Roger, we can do that. Um, I just didn't know where you were bringing me, but if I, yep, yeah, uh, we'll wait on 15 or, uh, left. 15 right, please. 15 right, sorry. <laughs> Frequent 5735, cross runway 15 left on the Bell. He's doing his Boston, best. Boston, I'm sorry, monitor Bolton Tower 128. Cross 15 left on November and then monitor Tower 128.8 for uh, Brookyard 5735. We'll see you. FedEx 420 heavy, follow uh, Embraer, cross runway 15 left on the Bell. Monitor Tower 128.8. Monitor Tower 128.8, I'm going to get that in there. It's on standby. Air Canada 755, holding short at spot 7 ready for taxi with information Foxtrot. back <clears throat> and you're sitting there because there's freak controller change right uh he just he told me to chill and wait for him for a minute i don't know if, he, if they're changing controllers or not thankfully there's no traffic waiting for me so right turn right turn to join one five right in the southeastern direction and the hold short of Taxi in November, which means you stop before you reach Taxi in November. Damn, man, another plane already took my fucking parking spot. Roger, I was, already, I was so just we're there. Going to one five right and hold before we reach November. What if I've got to go back to the gate? Uh oh, gonna have to find a new gate. Air Canada 755 holding short spot seven, requesting taxi to two two right with information Foxtrot. Controller change in progress, everyone hold, don't want call. Oh, there is a controller change, okay. <laughs> Goddamn chat. Boston is heckin' hectic right now, and they haven't even gotten here yet. Hey, Sackdown, how's it going, buddy? Good to see you again. We are uh, rocking, rocking, and well, yeah, not rolling. Thanks for your patience. Runway two two right, taxi Alpha November, cross one five right, hold short of one five left. Alpha November. I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? Fourteen ninety runway two two right, taxi Alpha November, cross runway one five right, and hold short of runway one five left. Uh, taxi Alpha November cross one five right hold short one five left. Uh, United fourteen ninety. Who's holding spot seven ready to go? Air Canada seven fifty five. Okay, let's get going. Seven fifty five. Thanks for patience. Runway two two right. Taxi Kilo Bravo November. Cross runway one five right and hold short runway one five left. Come on, baby right girl, accelerate. Kilo, Bravo, we gotta go. Cross runway one five right. Hold short runway one five left for Air Canada seven fifty five. Cactus 2131, Boston ground, hello. Push on to the ramp at your discretion. Do not block echo. Advise rate for taxi. Seems quite busy uh, in Boston. Right, well, uh, push, yeah, dude, there's, uh, um, echo, okay, so uh, Cross the Pond is going on right now, and I totally forgot that. And then Joey and I decided we were going to fly on the East Coast, and I get on today, and I'm like, oh, God, there's a fuck ton of planes coming in, so... Justice 41, Boston Here we go. Ground, hello, would you, have you contacted Boston Clearance yet? I haven't, I'm going to do that. 
There goes American. Got something else coming in on 2 2 left. But yeah, man, it's a it's a good fucking day. It is a good fucking day. I'm excited. I've got a big ass can of monster. I've got a two liter, well, half of a two liter of Mountain Dew sitting on the floor. Delta 565. I didn't catch any of that. It appears you may be muted. Call for my taxi here in a second. You know what? Now that I think about it, I'm sorry, but I should have probably asked you how ready you were and waited for you. Nah, you're good. You're good. This is an event. You know, we just we got to deal with what we but I may deafen myself in Discord just so I make sure I can hear this shit. It's yeah, absolutely. I can keep chat entertained while you're gone. I'm Gucci, baby. <laughs> oh shit, we got a 7-4 sitting there, British Airways. Alright, I am supposed to cross 1-5 right. I'm, I guess I'm crossing in front of this, uh, this heavy. Yes, dude, I love Boston. This airport is fucking gorgeous. And loading ground, just before one, we got clearance and ready to push. Arcano 755, give way to United 737 ahead of you, left to right on November, then follow that aircraft. Arcano is going to be following me across, wherever the hell they are. Arcano 755. Yeah, we'll give way to the aircraft for Arcana 75. Thank you. That taxi speed is way too fast. Slow that down, please, next time. Justice 41, Boston, ground, hello, runway 22 right, taxi, Bravo, November. I know he ain't Bravo, talking to me about five, taxi five, speed. I'm only doing five. 11 knots. Bravo, November, 12, 15 right, we'll short 15 left. We're done. Justice 41. And I'm going to go ahead and get my strobes on so people can see me. Off the ground, American 1856, we are at spot Bravo 9, ready for taxi. American 1856, Boston ground, hello, runway 22 right, taxi, Echo, Bravo, November. Cross runway 15 right and hold short runway 15 left. Taxi via Echo, Bravo, November, cross runway 15 right, hold short. Got Her Majesty the left. Queen sitting off to our left. Taxi 30 on 30, taxi. Taxi 2131, Boston ground. Try to expedite right. this taxi, taxi a little bit. Bravo, November. All right, let's Cross runway 15 right and hold short runway 15 left. Taxi Bravo, November to TT right. Cross 15 right, short of 15 left. Taxi 2131. All right, we are across 15 right. 1490, cross runway 15 left, monitor tower 128.8. Have a good day. Cross 15 left, monitor tower 121.8. Good day, United 1490. By one with the uh, let's see, by one Boston ground. Hello, are you able one, to make two, a right turn? 8.8. All right, we're crossing uh, one five left, which is right up ahead of us. This right here, it's the tiny one, and uh, heading on up this way. I'm guessing we're gonna take November directly onto the runway. Now, I don't have my camera on, so you can't quite see it, Sacktown, but I am using the Boeing yoke today. Oh, this is fun. Busy Vatsim is fun. Busy Vatsim is very fun. United 1490 Boston Tower, runway 22 right, clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, runway 22 right, United, 1490. I think we're all set up, more or less. Probably increase my taxi speed Boston, a little bit. Boston Tower, good afternoon, Giant 441, holding short, 2 to right, at Echo. Oh, uh, what's Zero going on? Why is my... Tower, Roger. What's my camera turning there? It's a little odd. Okay, please stop. 
Please stop. Okay, what the hell? Why is it fixed on that spot? No, stop with the drift to the right, please. Boston Tower, United 1490. Can I hold short for just a minute to try to fix a quick issue? United 1490, Boston Tower, Roger. Cancel takeoff, clearance, Roger, ready. Air Canada 755, Boston Tower, you're able to make uh, November 2. Affirmative. Air Canada 755, Roger. 12108, runway 22, right, uh, November 2, clear right. for takeoff. I am going to have clear to. Take off, runway 22, right, Air Canada 755. Alright, let's. Why is it doing this, dude? I'm gonna have to control his options, TCA yoke, camera. Like, you know what? I'm gonna just put some, uh, where is it? Put some dead zone in there. Fuck it, 11%. All right, landing lights on, position and strobe, wing lights on, engines over to continuous ignition. Air Canada is going to go ahead and go before me. Just to make sure our altimeter is set properly. It is. All right, parking brakes off, and we're pulling out there. Giant 441, Boston Tower, Boston Ranch, right, Ground 1G 1.9. Boston Ground, Giant 441, thank you. And tell the uh, flight attendants to sit their asses down. Air Canada 75, We're fucking out of here. Air Canada 75, contact departure. Or departure for Air Canada 75. Start the clock. Toga. There you go, bud. I see ya. Peanuts. Cross checked. Not speed. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, 1490. Pay attention. Rotate. Rotate. Yeah, 1490. Gear Tower. Go for United 1490. Yeah, 1490. I did, I did not give you a takeoff clearance, at least not that I believe so. Uh, I do apologize, I thought I heard a takeoff clearance from me, I'm so sorry. And 1490, Roger, contact Boston, approach 133.0. Contact approach 133.0, United 1490. United 1490. Alright, and we will go ahead and let the autopilot take over. If it will... To do it? Oh, okay. Approach? Why would I contact approach? Fuck, what? What, uh, what frequency was it? There's a few of them. Do you remember what he said? Oh, 133. Boston departure United 1490 with you, passing 2800. 
And a 1490 Boston departure radar contact, climb and maintain 14,000. Climb and maintain 14,000, United 1490. I was a wee bit late with uh, bringing up the flaps, but we got him. We're out of here. I could have sworn he'd given me departure clearance because when I had called him and said, "Hey, I've got to, I've got to deal with an issue for a quick second, I thought he'd given me departure clearance and just told me to go when I'm ready, but apparently not. That's all right. He wasn't too upset about it. It would seem. And uh, I don't believe we did anything that was too unsafe. There was really no one around. But hey, we're out of here. Let's go ahead and get the anti-skid off. Okay, since we're using the, uh, the lever on the on the yoke. I don't think I'm going to be able to put that in the off position. Blast them through 6,000 feet. chat let's take a quick look around so like i said we're using active sky today and it looks like uh did a really good job with the layers let's take a quick look here at the metar broken at 1100 overcast at 8000 i think they got those two a little bit backwards because i'm at just about 8000 now uh I think they went overcast at 1100 and then broken at 8000, but who am I to say? And we're going. Go on, buddy. All right, we're almost at 10,000. Landing lights off and we're turn offs off. We'll kill the taxi lights. Get the engine ignitions over to auto. Wing lights off. United 1490, contact Boston Center, 123.75. Contact Boston Center, United 1490, 123.75. Is that 120 decimal six? Uh, what, Boston Center? Departure. Uh, 133.0. Boston Center, United 1490 with you, climbing 2,100 for 14,000. United 1490, Boston Center, hello, climb and maintain flight level 230. Up to 230, United 1490. Lufthansa 412, reduce speed to 280. Reduce yeah, they're starting to get there. Oh boy, we got a big old motherfucker coming in. We got a 747-800 about to land from, uh, what is that? EDDK? Come on, boom. Cool. Look, my German is rusty, okay? <laughs> Let's see, unable 250 knots in hyper. Well, playing that, that sounds like your problem. United 1636, contact uh, New York approach. 128.55. United 1636, I'm good.
You know what, chat? As hectic as that departure was, we didn't forget anything. I've got the clock going. We've oh, actually got we fucking go air pressure. <laughs> this Honda 412, the uh, Stewart altimeter, 2987. Oh, hell yeah, this is a good fucking day. Northwest 978, contact ball. Good stuff here. Center 124.12. Beautiful clouds and stuff through here. Oh god, you have no idea, buddy. You need to get active, Sky. I don't know if you got my stream pulled up on another monitor or whatever, but uh, it's looking real nice out there. I do have it. I'm looking, glancing over every little bit. It looks fucking great. Chat, I'm gonna be honest with you. If stream goes well enough, I might do another flight after we get to uh, Chicago. Hey, Dave. All it's missing is the contrast making the sky look like some sort of dazzle pattern mess. Hey, ain't that the fucking truth? United 6636 Boston Center, hello. Uh, come and maintain flight level 230, that'll be the final. Come and maintain 330. That would be the final out of 290. Alright, so let's see. What is Boston our. American 1856, look you crossing 11,500. The Sansa 412 quadrant. Okay, so we're going to be in the air for about an hour and a half, hour 28 minutes. So we've got a good deal of time before we get to. Uh, American 1856. Good thing is we already know what gate we're going to, so taxiing in isn't going to be a problem. Well, I know what gate I'm going to. Uh, Brohim here has no fucking idea where I'm going. By the way, buddy. Um, just uh, to real quick take a note of it, I'm going into gate Delta 18 if it's open when I get to Dallas. Sounds good. Delta 18, Delta 18. Hey, Sasha. How are you doing over there? What's going on? I'm setting up some more integrations, and I think you're going to become a little jelly. Yeah, probably. <laughs> when are you uh, planning on getting your stream going? I do not know. Gotcha. I don't know. At this point, I might just wait till your stream's over. I feel that. That's fine with me. I still don't. I still don't know what I'm playing today, whether it's going to be um, Starset or Engineer or whatever, but just, I don't know. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> well, when you figure it out, shoot me a message, let me know. KLM 62 Hotel Boston Center, welcome back. Cross F dot at and maintain 111,000. The Burlington altimeter 2982. Can I fix the tail watcher crossing F dot at 11,000 or above? And altimeter 2982. Can I fix the tail? KLM 62 Hotel, uh, exactly 11,000 feet. Cross F dot at 11,000. That's probably 6 with a 11,000 at 11,000. Last Texas 2131, 13, 4, 14. Man, Chad, it is fucking bright out there. 
Cactus 2131 Boston Center, hello, climbing maintain 16,000, the uh, Bradley altimeter 2986. 16,000, Cactus 2131. So he hasn't cleared me past 23,000 quite yet. 1490, contact Boston Center 135.32. Hmm. Contact Boston Center 135.32, United 1490. Boston Center 135, he couldn't have said 0 .32. Oh, he really did. Good afternoon, Boston Center. This is uh, United 1490 with you, flight level 230. United 1490, Boston Center, hello. Climb and maintain, flight level 360, that will be the final. Climb and maintain 360. Thank you very much, Boston Center, United 1490. All right, going up to 36,000. Looks like they're shaving 2K off of my... Uh, off of my cruising altitude, but that is a okay. One three five decimal three two. You got the same, right? One three five three two. Yeah. Hey there, Robert. How you doing, buddy? Probably just to keep you under the flock. Yeah, probably because we got a lot of uh, heavies coming in from rather far out, so. They're probably already going A, way faster than me, and B, way up above me, so they probably want to keep me low to keep me out of the way. Which means we'll probably get folded in with all of the, uh, the heavy traffic coming into Dulles, which is fine. I expected that. What do you mean cost, Robert? Boston Center, American 1856 with you at uh, approaching flight level 230. You know what we're going to do? Go ahead and get the flight attendants out of their seats. Let them start serving drinks and such. I want to get the music going, but I don't really want to miss any calls, so I'm probably going to start it and then turn it down a bit. You know what, actually, that's, that's actually pretty good where it is, so... How you enjoying your flight there, bud? I'm enjoying it a lot. It's taking some, some brain power here to keep everything focused, but I, it's, it's fun. Doing it on VATSIM is always so much more fun. Ain't that the truth? I, I see myself on uh, somewhere. Oh, there you are. Just four one Boston Center. Hello, climb and maintain level three eight zero. Yeah, we got a while before we get down to Dallas. New at SMF there. One seventy five Q four hundreds and A three thirties, A three twenty. Nice. It's been a couple of years since I've been back in Sac, so I haven't really seen what traffic is going in and out of there. Hey Dave, are my volume levels fine? Because like I was, I was noticing my last stream, uh, Star Citizen, everything was really quiet. No matter how high I turned up the volume on YouTube, so just wanted to make sure everything's good now. I think YouTube had automatically like overall reduced the volume of my stream then because uh, I was allowing my audio to peek into the red on OBS. So I think things are just a little bit too loud for their liking. All right, sweet. Did you hear about Hawaiian first 787 in service? I did not. I didn't know Hawaiian uh, was buying 78s. I'm honestly surprised that they're accepting delivery of them considering all the problems that Boeing is having with the 78s right now. Issues with fucking foreign object debris in the uh the fuselage and shit that's a not a scary situation but it's it's worrying 
I'm not getting deafened. Engines seem okay. Music is a little quiet, but that just means I can hear you this time. <laughs> no, I have got... I'm literally... Okay, so looking at OBS right now, Dave, my, um, like, my microphone volume is, like... 0.5 decibels from getting into the red and everything else is much lower so I, I made sure that I'm coming through loud and clear over everything else he says while well, helming a 737-800 look they're not having problems with the NGs okay they're having problems with the maxes and the 7.8s the NGs are fine <laughs> but you know plane could be haunted so you never know We'll see as we get over there. <laughs> hey, Dave knows all about planes haunted. Dude, did I ever tell you the story of our 7-4 flight together? I don't think so. So I've, I've told this. I've told this on the uh, the stream before. But uh, <laughs> so Dave and I were using um, your controls together at one point, like back around when it first came out. Good Holy guy shit, that guy is loud. He is... Holy dog piss, calm down, bro. Turn down your gain. Anyway. Oh. Yeah, Dave, Vegas Desert. So anyway, Joey. Uh, Dave and I, 747-800, heading to Vegas from, what was it, San Francisco? Something like that. Or maybe it was Seattle, I don't know. Something along the West Coast. We decided to do a flight to Vegas. We get over the desert, we're descending into Vegas, and all of a sudden we realize, oh shit, we're out of fuel. Well, we were out of fuel on his end, but not on mine. You fucking landed in the desert, right? Yeah, landed in the desert, hit the only fucking building for probably about a hundred miles. It was just, it was sad. <laughs> this man is sitting there, up, <laughs> staring at the overhead panel, cranking the fucking APU over and over and over again to give me hydraulic pressure to keep the plane from nosediving. <laughs> Oh man, you gotta do what you gotta do, all right? Dear God, yeah, it was, it was a thing. Oh my God, why is everyone so overblown on that sin? Like, control your game, people. The clip is still around somewhere. Dave, if you can find that, I would absolutely love it because I want to I want to upload that just raw. I'm not going to edit it. I'm not going to cut it. I just want to upload that shit raw. Just go, this is the shit we had to go through. That'll be the title. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That was literally one of my favorite memories with you, Dave. That's amazing. You know what? I would love to do some more fucking VFR shit with Dave. That one day where we did that low and slow with the oh, fuck yeah. DC-3 and all that, man, that would be amazing. That would be amazing. Dave, if you don't have the DC-6, I'll fucking get you the fucking DC-6, and we should all fly the fucking DC-6, is what I say. That would be a good old time. I promise you Poseidon will want to come. He's been wanting to fly the DC-6 with me for fucking ever, and I was just like, bro, I do not yeah, have the him. attention span. <laughs> get him in on it. Hey, it's really not that bad, especially if you use the AFE, which I always do. It's really not that bad. Yeah, that one flight that we did, it, it wasn't bad. I don't want to do it on VATSIM until I'm, like, really, really good with it, but, like, really understand the plane, but... It's honestly simpler to do shit on Batsim in that plane, because, like, all you can do is VORs. <laughs> yeah, Dave has well, the DC-6. Mean, you can get the... I thought he did. I, I, I remember talking about that at one point, but... It's a fantastic aircraft. <laughs> it's and not going to try to turn it You can't really fly <laughs> Sids and Stars and whatnot to spec, as they say, but... You know I like what? the VOR stuff, anyway. Dave brings up a really good point. We'll get chased down by the fucking Hindenburg. I'm sure of it. Honestly, pretty much. That's just, that's Poseidon's thing. He wants to take the strangest, most off the fucking cuff, out of pocket looking ass plane he can find. And somehow that. he'll make it work. Gotta be honest, well, I've not looked at the manual properly, so I gotta take a week to learn. I feel that, I feel that. I'm probably gonna have to do the same. 
See, because I've been wanting to, like, off-stream uh, learn the CRJs finally, because I've literally owned those since they were on their... since they've had their, like, pre-release sale. And I've never flown the CRJs at all. Paul, oh, my dude, you're finally here. What's good, buddy? Um, and uh, I also want to finally learn the uh, the MD-80, because I've had that for forever and a day and I've never flown it. Uh, I loaded into it once, looked around at the cockpit, said, fuck this, and never touched it again. <laughs> Uh, but I do want to learn it. I think MD-80 would be really fucking fun. I really wish oh, we had the MD-90, dude. I want those fucking CFM engines instead of the, uh, the JT-8Ds, but... That'd be fantastic. Yeah, no Captain Joe. What about him? Oh, by the way, Paul, the uh, the theme for this particular stream, which I didn't figure that out until today, is... Uh, hello, hello, United 567, ow. passing 200 for 200. Hang on. The theme is uh, Escape the Heavies coming from Europe. United 567, Boston Center, hello, climb and maintain, follow up 360. Climb and maintain 360. Oh, shit, you met him today? Where the fuck was he? Wait, well, didn't you say you were at like an air show or something? Hold on, let me check Discord. I remember you said something about you were somewhere. Oh no, that was somebody talking about the A340. So how the fuck did you run into Captain Joe? How'd that happen? I need deep. Uh, what? Oh, Captain Joe. Yeah. Hello, climate. Actually, would you like 504? That's a jetliner, isn't this? It's Comet 477 DCA, even the ones with the safe. There was a. Those will be a blast to multi -coup. Ain't that the fucking truth, dude? I'm waiting for them to put uh, multi crew not multi crew but shared cockpit in flight sim natively either that or like an actually decent add-on come out for it i'd pay for that shit 100 percent was an air show there was a the g6000 god damn oh i see he was doing an interview got you that's cool as shit, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I know 2024 will have a uh, native shared cockpit. My only problem is I don't know if I want to get 2024. I, I, I'm still not quite sure on that one. New York Center, one two five point three two. Have a good day. That was for you, I think. Oh, what did he say? Hold on. Uh, New York Center, one two five decimal three two. Level two nine zero. One two five decimal three. Three two four. Yeah. United 1490, contact New York Center, 125.32. Have a good day. Over to New York Center, United 1490. Thanks for the ATC. Walk Over to 43, New York ATC, Center. New York Center, 125.32. Have a good day. 125.32, Walker 43, have a good one. New York Center, United 1490, with you, flight level 360. Yeah, you're a good way to the front Hold on. Press bottles at and maintain flight level 280. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that one more time? I had another in my ear. 1490, New York Center, press bottles at and maintain flight level 280. Cross bottles at and maintain flight level 280, United 1490. United 624, contact right. Potomac oh, approaching 126.1. Three legs, reset altitude. Bottles at 280. Flight level 280. Flight level 280. Execute.
No, oh, go back in the VNAV. What are you doing? Check out the two targets. Three six zero. Go in the VNAV. I'm gonna sell snipe it, I reckon, unless Game Pass has it. Then again, it's just a flat upgrade to 2020 miles, so with it actually. I actually okay, Dave. If you can find a list of the stuff of like the uh, the planes they're adding for 2024, I'd like to take a look at that. And like, if I recall, most um add-on uh, developers for 2020 said that their stuff's going to be forward compatible with 2024. So if that is the case and what they're adding to it looks juicy enough, I might look into getting it. It's like if you could find a list of uh, what they're putting in 2024, I'd really, really appreciate that, buddy. Wait, it thinks... Hold on. How far is that TD from bottles, though? Alright, thank you, Dave. Okay, so this shows me continuing descending. Okay, that looks about right. Which means it is about to... Oh, no, I did not mean to pull up FS Realistic. Okay. All right, so ILS is going to be 110.1. Switch that to active out of standby. Final approach course is going to be 11 degrees. Uh, we'll intercept the ILS at 1,900 feet at Waxen, and decision height is 512. Take a look in the pictures. Fuck, that G6 is gorgeous. And that's uh, Luftwaffe, right? German government. Bundesrepublik Deutschland. Oh, fuck, yeah. That is a gorgeous jet. Right, you should take a look at some of the, uh, the Gulf streams that our government uses they are they are gorgeous golf streams and seven threes for uh executive transport of course the air force maintains them so sorry but, uh, I, had, uh, I got a call oh you're fine bud all right we'll do quest descent winds uh i gotta look and see It is information foxtrot, variable five knot, 10 miles of visibility, few clouds, 5,000 feet Zero, broken at 2,000 or 25,000. Two niner niner four.
What do you mean invalid entry? Okay. Guess I need the dot in there. Uh, fix rings K I A D. Fifteen. N. And five. Let's see. It was also a Eurofighter, Eurofighter Simulator, an H90, and a Tornado mock-up. Oh, fuck yeah. Love the It's like the, some of the A340s in the same movie are re -at. See, that's the one thing that American air shows are missing. A lot more, uh, a lot more stuff from Europe. I gotta call New York real quick. New York Center, United uh, 1490. Am I clear to continue descending beyond 28,000 after I pass bottles? United 1490, descend and maintain flight level 280. I'll have another descent for you uh, after bottles. Uh, welcome. Descend and maintain 280 at bottles. Gotcha. Okay. We're just going down to 28 and then holding until he gives me further instruction. I wasn't too clear on that because, like, flight, the uh, fucking FMC has me continuing down. I just want to make sure that was correct. Gotcha. It's Honest. funny, we were, we're like, we're already, I've been on the star since Bath. The star is coming into. IAD are huge. Yeah, they get a lot of international traffic. Welcome they got a. Descend to pilot discretion. Cross Copes and maintain level two two zero. But uh, yeah, they get a lot of international traffic since it's uh, Dulles. Uh, Walk forty thirteen. Walk forty thirteen. Copes at flight level two two zero two twenty. Two two zero. My apologies. Walk forty thirteen. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm just realizing how long the. Uh, the star is in the Dulles. Good God, it stretches all the way up into Massachusetts. We've been on the star since Bath. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is a bad time to need to go to the bathroom. Is it a go to the bathroom or is it like a go to the bathroom? It's a, you got a little bit of time, but I feel some very low intensity hellfire in my uh, lower intestines. <laughs> low intensity hellfire. Okay. <laughs> That's so pretty bad. 1856, cross bottle set to maintain level 280. Uh, descend to maintain 280, cross bottle set 280, American 1856. 1856, you don't need to descend now, just descend so that at bottle, you're at flight level 280. Uh, American 1856, uh, roger. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I just started descent and I'm already at 33. <laughs> we are coming down sporty. On the bright side, she's maintaining speed pretty well. Oh, it doesn't tell you on the uh, the ND. Oh, so I'm 13 miles to Keeper. I'll go ahead and just start descending. Chat, I really wish that we had some nastier weather out of here because uh, I was 
I flew out of, what the fuck was it? St. Louis, when they were having a storm the other day, uh, when I first got Active Sky, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Like, it did a really good job with the with the uh, the cloud layers and everything. If you want to take a look under the uh, screenshots for Flight Sim in the uh, Discord server, I've got a few screenshots in there of it while I was still on the ground. I, think I, I took a couple from the air as well. my vertical speed mode set and the ND is indicating that I will reach my end of descent just before bottles will be at 280 so that's what we want I think. Fucking nice. Yeah I just a couple miles before I'll reach it. I just set the altitude on the MCP and uh let it do its thing at TD. Yeah that's fair. My TD wasn't gonna be until well past bottles calculated so. yeah you have to go on, oh well that's right you're on the airbus so never mind i was gonna say i because i just went into the legs page and page and changed the uh, the altitude restriction there but you're not in the 73 i keep forgetting that in the new york center is uh, november six mike tango six uh, uh six mike tango go ahead and six point tangles, uh, Cessna 172 on the ground at uh, White Plain, requesting a uh, IFR flight to India Sierra Papa with a uh, ILS 24 full stop. Uh, this is six Mike Tango, that airport is covered by New York Approach 120.8. Six Mike Tango, New York Approach 120.8, thanks. Walker 4318, contact New York Center, 120.02. 120.02, Walker 4318, have a good day. Oh, by the way, chat, uh, if I do recall, I am actually streaming in uh, 4K. Uh, why not show 1440p as the best option? And why is that? Because I remember changing my output to no longer be rescaled. Good afternoon, New York Center, Walker 4318, descending through to the 22,600 for 220. About 20 miles from Copes. Walker. Eh, oh well, it's working out, so I'm not gonna complain. On, uh, uh, what the one hell one is my speed two. doing? My apologies, I just missed the button. 1490, descend to maintain, playable 200. Descend to maintain 200, United 1490. the fuck is my speed doing? Why did it try to drop to 200 knots? That's a little funny. Center, good day to you, United 1537 with you, flight level 350, climbing flight level 370. Hey, 1537, New York Center, hello. Uh, do me a favor and just stick it in general on, uh, in the Discord server. Why? 
Why did it change the speed like that? Oh my god, we're descending at over 5,000 feet per minute. Cameron Ed and maintain 11,000, the Kennedy Uh, not that I can think of, Paul. See, yeah, I'm in level change mode and uh, took over the speed so I could get it back up to what it should be at and. Uh, because it wanted, because I wanted it to accelerate while descending, it just said, you know what, 5,000 feet per minute sounds good. Yeah, bitch, rev up those engines. Get up to 323. I don't know, I, I just don't understand why it chopped the speed so much. That was nuts. Five Golf Delta, contact Washington Center, one tree three point seven two. Washington Center, one three 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 seven two. Is there something I should be getting from Arasoft soon, Paul? You wanna clue me into something I don't know about? List is posted on your Boeing's Haunted. Ain't that the fucking truth? Come 232 New York Center, welcome. Oh shit, the CL415 Airbus H125. I'm glad they're actually putting that in instead of it being an add-on. That's cool. I gotta get that and try and fly it around a bit. A330, the A380? What? CH54. The Beluga XL, the A400M, updated DA62, the Jetson 1 drone, the A10 Thunderbolt, Vision Jet, a blimp, some hot air balloons, an ornithopter. Oh, that's from the Dune expansion. Okay. okay. Oh, good. Two five seven. I think you're on the wrong frequency. Go back to your last controller and double check the frequency. I don't know what to discount code because our office is at the air show too, but I forgot it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, no, I didn't have any plans to get anything off of Aerosoft anyway, but. That would have been cool. I do appreciate it though, Paul. I do appreciate it. A380 would probably look like the one from Red Ock. No. If they're putting that in, I, I think they've learned their lesson when it comes to like the 7.4 and the 7.8. Um, I think they'll probably put that in with like full functionality, like off the jump and then just kind of give it updates as it goes, but. Time to kind of think about our landing here. So I'm not going to be able to look at chat as much. Landing zero one right. If that is still the active active, let me check the ATIS. Arrivals expect for runway one center and runway one right. Departing runway 30 and runway one center. Okay. Holy shit. Joey, I think we might have been correct. We might end up actually beating all of the uh, European traffic there. Hope so. You and me both. Hey, York Center, Delta 2006, inbound, bottom, uh, uh, 15 of the mouth, and 
of 7.3 when we get there. We're at 9.4. That's what? 1.9. Mm, operational, auto brakes 3. Okay, so we'll end up touching down just before halfway down the runway. Or not touching down, but uh, we would end up coming to a stop just before halfway down. We'll aim for a kilo four exit from the runway. American 1856, send and maintain, level 200. Send and maintain, level 200, American 1856. What'd you need? American 309, contact New York approach, 128.12. Okay. Shooting the trailer, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'll have to look for that. We'll see. I wonder if the fly-by-wire one will be compatible with 24. Okay, they're definitely gonna have to give me a hold, because... Oh, maybe not. Was that my next point, LRP? The plane wanted me at 16.8. Nah, I think they're just sending us in perfectly good here. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, Plus, I'm know. gonna have vectors to final anyway, so... I'll have, I should have time to descend to the correct altitude. The 380 was not in the trailer, and the hog has a light where the gun should be. Oh, God. Don't to self. Don't ever, don't ever look at or touch the A10 and 24. Gotcha. Uh, well, that's what I was looking for. You know, is anybody thinking about getting Active Sky? I can highly, highly, highly recommend it. And it adds in um, fucking clear air turbulence as well, so no more turbulence only when you're in or in the clouds or above mountains. Second 309, 128.12, 28.12. United 1490, cross alert chat and maintain 14,000. Harrisburg altimeter 29901. United 1490, cross oh. alert chat and maintain 14,000. Harrisburg altimeter 29901. Cross lurch at and maintain 14,000. United uh, 1490. Lurch level one four. Oh, that wouldn't be flight level. Cross new that maintain flight level two seven zero United fifteen thirty seven. We will go back into VDAV. Do you need us to talk for you? I'll be right back. I'm going to restart my computer because I have no audio for you guys whatsoever. Okay. New York, Let's see, how far out is Lurch? There. Okay. I think I'm going to go vertical speed mode. And we will arrest this descent a little bit. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. For the 2776, contact New York Approach, 128.12. 128.12, uh, Delta 2776. All right, uh, Washington Center will be next, 133.725. Cactus 9 Victor, heavy level 3 4 inbound. I think that's Lurch. Cactus 9 Victor, New York Center. Uh, <laughs> your next waypoint is Lurch. It's fine, Cactus 9 Victor. Okay, you're missing uh, all of the Hyper 9 arrival. Alright, Cactus 9 9 Victor, uh, we'll make it work, no worries. And uh, confirm you're at Mach point seven nine. Yeah, Mark 79, but we can also try to input it again, the Hyper 9 arrival for the Victor. Okay, 99 Victor, no worries. Uh, it'll get you to the same place, and it's almost a straight line anyway. But, uh, yeah, we'll make it work, no worries. Thank you, Kaka, for the Victor. Hey, on good day, you know, there's not a 47 with the Mark 79, 360. Hey, we've got a Brit on here. Center, welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can hear you guys again. Yay! <laughs> you were missed. Oh, oh fuck. Cat, I keep forgetting we've got another flight after this. <laughs> Dude, this this flight has been jam-packed with just action. It's been good, though, because it hasn't been super busy where we've been at so far, but we've also gotten, like, we have full control at both airports, arrival and departure today, and that's sweet. Yeah. Hey, have you looked at, uh, everyone that's online at, uh, Chicago? Oh, yeah. 10 go ahead. I'm fucking excited. I am excited. That's awesome. Tim 232, uh, just set this up before you grow. Press Sarah at and maintain label 200, and then report back. For Sasha's sake, I don't think I'm gonna do a third leg. Because I do believe that she's planning on waiting until uh, I'm available for her to start streaming. I don't really want to. waiting for my stream deck, or my audio issue to remain solved. Hmm. Hey Joey, have you ever had this issue with like a random um like muting and unmuting out of nowhere of like an audio source? Uh, it that's probably depends on the application, but sure. Are you talking about with Discord? No, see she's got a uh the virtual audio cable that I'm using for OBS and uh, we set it so that nothing can take exclusive control of it or anything like that but for some reason since this morning it just mutes and unmutes itself randomly good American 1856 cross lurch at maintain 14,000 both more altimeter to 9 or 1 it's got to be some sort of a windows cross thing cross lurch at maintain I'm sorry with a 14,000 uh, altimeter 29 or 1 American 1856 American 1856 read that correct and In my journal, I wrote 140,000. <laughs> All right, buddy. If, uh, if you think you can get there, good good luck. Good on you. We're just going to see what Toga can do for us today. And 1490, contact Potomac Approach, 126.1. Over to Potomac Approach, 126.1, United 1490.
26.1. Potomac Approach, United, 1490 with you, 14,000. Yeah, 1490, Potomac Approach, Roger. Expect visual approach for we'll runway uh, one right. Potomac, correction, Dolph, altimeter, 29904. Uh, expect one uh, visual, one right, and uh, altimeter, United uh, 1490, thank you. What do you mean proceeds to descend? I'm still at 14,000. I was told descend to and maintain. Okay. I was told descend to and maintain one four thousand at lurch, and I'd uh, get further instructions after that. I'm there. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. We fucking doing it. Here about the crossover into Potomac's airspace. Well, in a couple of miles, you got probably about fifteen miles till you cross. Exciting. This is exciting. Oh, so very exciting. Don't mess it up, but like so far, it's, been fine. it's not really not busy at IAD right now. I'm sorry, Potomac Approach. Can you say again for 1490? United 1490, descend via the Hyper 9 arrival. Descend via the Star, United 1490. Wifey! How you doing? All right, cool. Descend via the star. Let's take a look. What is the last altitude on that? 4,000 feet. And we'll go back into VNAV. Wifey, what are you doing here? I ain't ever seen you in my chat before. Nice, nice. The famous tale that because of someone requesting clearance to 60,000 feet. Oh, I see. I see what you meant, Dave. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get the boards out a little bit because we need to slow it the fuck down. <laughs> we need to slow it the fuck down here. The plane has decided. 29.9 or 4. Well, shit. I could have sworn he had told you 299 or 1. Never seen you stream oh. before. Girl, I have been streaming every weekend since, like, New Year's. What do you mean you've never seen me stream before? You just haven't been getting notifications. If you join my Discord, though, uh, I, I've i got a bot setup that announces every time I am uh, I set up a stream to go live, so. I will, uh, if you want me to, I can send you a link to my Discord. I got some hellfire going on over here, and it's not the best. <laughs> Gonna have to drop a fat one here soon, bro. By the way, chat, Let's we will land. be uh, taking a short break in uh, at Dulles. <laughs> Gonna have to run Just to the restroom. Because now I gotta piss. That's like a bordering on emergency status. Alright, we're gonna tell the flight attendants to get the fuck back in their seats and strap in. We're about to cross the 10,000 feet. I am still, like, over a thousand feet above the, uh, the glide path, or the descent path. I mean, it's closing quickly, but... God damn. Dude, I'm so glad to hear uh, Descend via the fucking star. Holy shit. 
all that random holding was not getting on my nerves, but I was starting to wonder if I was going to have to like try and do a slam dunk approach. And I don't want to do that. I'm not a fan of the slam dunk. I don't know why I just went Obama mode there, but I did, and you're gonna have to deal with it. Stomach approach, American 1856 with you at 14,000. We're about 10 miles from Lurch. American 1856, Potomac approach, runway one right. Runway uh, one right, American 1856. Alright, we are below 10,000, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and kill the music while I fucking remember. Because things are going to get hectic coming in here, and I don't want to forget. I just don't want to forget, y'all. Yeah. It's going to be fun here. Did you just hear me on Potomac Approach there? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, dude, I just think that's so cool. Dude, we are going to be the very first to get in just before the onslaught arrives. Good. That's good. Like, That's good for us. They are quite literally right behind you. And we got yeah, a, yeah, I see that. We got a couple coming in from like the southeast. Cool thing is on the uh, similar map, I can filter out the traffic by what's going to and from a particular airport. Yo, we got somebody that just came out of it looks like Salt Lake City heading to fucking Dulles. Oh, dude, I wish we had coverage like this all the time. Yeah, this is great. This makes it a lot more fun. Oh, God, you've alerted the horde. Ain't that right? All right, so, yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to get out of uh, Dallas before the horde shows up, so things are going to get kind of cray on the right, ground there, but... Descend via the Hyper 9 arrival. Descend via Hyper 9 arrival, uh, American 1856. Send via the hyper nine arrival, American something something fifty six. <laughs> that was cool. He gave it to me right, pretty much right as my little green dot was coming down. <laughs> that was cool. Convenient. So I just put it in manage mode, and we're good to go. Nice, nice. And we'll just go down to. Paul, where did you just fucking come out of with? I don't know how to fly the DC-3. No one said anything about the DC-3. We were talking earlier about the DC-6, but... That was like, what, an hour ago? How long have I been fucking streaming? Oh, an hour and 48 minutes. Not that long. Not that long. Oh, wow, that message got hidden. Bro wanted to fuck up your approach and when flying the DC-3 with 60 knots in front of you. Dear God. Wait, why can't I see that on my phone, but I can see that on OBS? Oh. Oh, profanity filter? Yeah, probably. I keep forgetting to fix that. Oh shit, I- oh no, boards aren't out. Thought they still were. to see how the uh, Phoenix handles on this approach here. 
they did some tweaking to that in the last update. Interested to see what that looks like. The plane is handling the descent perfectly fine. Yeah. Maintaining the restrictions. Oh, kind of flying. Oh, he's talking to Paul, not me. What is the last heading on this arrive? One nine or one. Dead 14 United Contact, Potomac Approach, 125.8. Over to 125.8, United 1490. Potomac Approach, United 1490, with you, uh, Zero four zero for uh, about seven miles from Yak. United fourteen ninety Potomac approach. Roger, Delta altimeter two nine nine or four. Altimeter two nine nine or four. United fourteen ninety. Well, 
that we are. Oh, yes. Kind of glad we're going to be the first ones in on this approach because I don't, I'd prefer not to bungle the landing in front of people, but. I feel see. that. I did the takeoff pretty damn well, I think. This plane is always so nice to rotate. True. You pull the nose up and she just holds it. Oh, yeah. And you just, just very slight back pressure on the stick. It'll just start lifting right up. Got a 1490, descend and maintain 2000. Descend and maintain 2000, you got a 1490. Uh, United 1490, is there any uh, particular speed you'd like me to hold? United 1490, reduce speed 210 knots. Reduce speed 210 knots, United 1490. Go. I totally forgot that we forgot to uh, set that. One four zero variable at five. We'll just hold a correction to five knots. Come on, plane, descend. On the plane that flies 40 knots approach speed. Oh, God. What is that? One of those little stall planes? That's on during final in Chicago. Oh, God, yeah, I know. Things are gonna be fucking crazy, dude. He likes me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. Matter 1490, turn right, heading 280. Right turn, heading 280, United 1490. Approach uh, American 1856 with you at 4,000. So I added American a cool down to the American 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 We'll report the airport in sight, United uh, 1490. United 1490, turn right heading zero. Correction, turn right heading 350. Right turn heading 350, United 1490. Oh, hey, hello. there you go. I was just about to tell you to check chat. That slow over Chicago, best of luck. Hey, it is what it is, man. Oh, you were talking to Paul. Okay, I got you, I got you. All right, guys, I am going to have to pretty much ignore chat for a few minutes because I got to focus on this landing. It looks to be a little bit bumpy coming into Dulles. Don't worry, chat. We're here for you. at 1420, the airport now at your 1 o'clock and uh, 7 miles report inside. I've got airport in sight, United 1490. United 1490, Roger. Clear visual approach, runway one right. Clear visual, runway one right, United 1490. He has cleared me on visual, but I will be doing the ILS. Ha 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 assisted visual. <laughs> yeah, it's an ILS assisted visual. That's right. 
Alright, I'm gonna slow it down to my flaps two speed. Sorry, go ahead, Beth. I was gonna say, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Matter of fact, we need to go flaps five. United 1490, contact tower 120.1. Contact tower 120.1, United 1490. All right, go ahead. I also may or may not have added a TTS bot. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to show me how to set that up. Hold on one second. Dallas Tower, United 1490 with you, 1,900 uh, landing one right. United 1490, Dallas Tower, wind variable at 5, runway 1 right, clear to land. Clear to land, United 1490. All right, we've got our landing clearance. Let's get the landing lights on. Uh, everything else is good. We will let the flight attendants know we're going to touch down here soon and get on in there. The flaps 10. If the plane will slow its ass down. Oh, gear down. Should help us out. Flaps 15. Go to our VREF speed. Dallas Tower United 1327, holding short of runway 30 at Zulu, ready to take off. We're ready for departure, sorry. We'll be lucky if this here is half as smooth. Huh? Seems legit. Have some faith in me, Dave. Damn. Okay, I do not remember what my autopilot disconnect button is on uh, on this yoke, so we're just gonna take over like this. Our airplane. Shut the fuck up. Little bit low. Minimums. Continue. Versus out. United 1327, wind variable at 5, turn left heading 250, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Left heading 250, runway 30, clear for takeoff, 10, 30, 20, 20. United 1490, welcome to Dulles, turn left when able, contact ground 121.9 with gate number. Left when able, contact ground United 1490. I missed the turn off. I wish. <laughs> Thank you. It could have been much better, but I'm using my yoke and it's been a while, so. Oh my god, yeah. It, it, it feels like one of those when I usually fly. And I'm just like, Dee. Also, hi there, Mizu. Hi. Chat, we got the whole fucking gang in here. God damn, I'm loving it. Alright. We are clear of the runway. You're good to come on in, Joey. I'm going to 
get all the shit set that I need to. United 1327, contact the summit departure. Departure for United 1327, thanks. I need to get on the ground frequency. Shit, 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 shit. Uh. And what was the okay. frequency for departure, United 1327? 119.85. 1985, thanks, United 1327. Dulles Tower, this is a United 1490. What was the frequency for ground again? United 1490, contact ground 121.9 with your gate number. 121.9 with gate number. Thank you very much, United 1490. Good afternoon, Dulles Ground United 1490. Uh, my gate is Delta, I think, 18. Yes, Delta 18. United 19, correction, 1940, Dulles Ground. Welcome to Dulles. Uh, Kilo, Juliet to Juliet. Hold to an echo. Hello. Juliet to Juliet. Hold short echo. And that was Kilo Juliet 2 to Juliet. Hold short at Echo for United 1490. Okay. Uh, 1490, you said Delta 16, correct? Uh, Delta 18. Close enough. Okay, make sure I'm sending you the right side. Thank you. Not a problem, United 1490. Also, Paul, Dave, thank you, thank you. Yeah, no, the, uh, the fucking airspace is busy as hell today. Um, so, Mizu, there's a event going on in VATSIM, which is the ATC program that I use, or ATC service, rather. Uh, oh, wait, shit, Juliet 2? I think I'm gonna miss that. There's Juliet 3. Hang on. McDonald's Ground, United 1480. Did I miss Juliet 2? I'm not seeing it on my map. I am on my final and, approach uh, here. At one right, yeah, Dallas. I just noticed you missed it. Take your oh, next oh. right, join Juliet, continue taxi. Next right, June, join Juliet, continue taxi. Thank you. United 1490. Anyway, um, yeah, no, Mizu, there's a, yeah, uh, you, uh, the, uh, at a kilo B's arrival, that's all. Cross the pond. Uh, event that they've got going on. So essentially, people are flying back and forth between Europe and the U.S. And I didn't realize that when I was planning this stream. Uh, the East Coast is about to be really motherfucking busy. It's like Dulles has probably about 174 landings scheduled within the next, like, hour. I'm on Juliet, and he said, hold short, Echo? Okay, that's down there where I need to turn right. Perfecto. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, Dave, across the pond is going on. Saw something on my phone this morning, but don't use it, so skipped it. Yeah. You know that Boeing wants to produce flying cars yeah, until 2030. Turn right, Echo. Hold on, spot 83. Contact ramp control 130.55. 130 130.55. United 1490. Turn right, Echo. Hold short. Uh, Hold on spot 83, ramp control 13055. Turn right, Echo, hold short spot 83, and over to ramp control, Continue. United 1490. Where the fuck is spot 83? Oh, right there. Got it. And brakes keep getting stuck on this plane.
Hold at spot 83. Okay, I see the line for it. Over to ramp control. Good afternoon, Dulles Ramp Control. Uh, United 1490 holding 83. Looking for uh, Delta 18. Uh, 1490 Dulles Ramp, good evening. Uh, get Delta 18, taxi via Echo. Taxi via Echo, United 1490. Uh, it was Delta 18. You keep talking the moment I'm trying to listen to the controllers, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you do the same thing to me the whole fucking time. I don't want to hear it. Suck my ass! <laughs> Is that it? Oh my god. It's just getting hot over here. I need an ice cube! Alright, GSX, I need to let you know that I'm going to legate. You don't need an ice cube, you need the whole damn freezer. Ain't that the fucking truth? Oh, my room stays pretty cold, so I've got the freezer. Jesus Christ, Chad, this has been one hell of a flight. I am definitely going to need a bit of a break after we get into the gate. Got to go use the bathroom and probably eat something real quick before we get on our way to uh, Chicago. I tell you what, though, that, that flight was fun as hell. It's uh like when you turn right onto Echo, it's it's that first line right there. You just oh, as I soon see. as you turn and you get fully turned, you pretty much just stop there. God, they've even got fucking ramp control on the. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, it's not really surprising considering you know. That's true. Oh, so you know that problem I was having with my view, like panning right slowly. Uh, when we were taking off. Turns out I've got a little bit of stick drift in the, uh, the right thumbstick on the, uh, on the yoke. I just threw some dead zone in there and it's, it's all good now. Slow it down, bucko. Parking right, brake set. Uh, yes. All right, engines can go off. Head up to the overhead. Anti-collision light off. Strobe steady. Taxi light off. That's already going. We've already got air going there. Probe heats off and fuel pumps off. All right, everyone, welcome to uh, Washington, Dulles. Dulles ramp, this is uh, American 1856 with you. We are at spot 83 on Echo, looking for a gate uh, Delta 20. American 1856, Dulles ramp, good evening. Uh, gate Delta 20, taxi via Echo. Delta 20, taxi via Echo, American 1856. Yeah, everybody, welcome, welcome. I need to... One thing I forgot was release you guys out of your fucking seats. Come on, get up, get your shit, and get out. 
Any of y'all that are going on to Chicago with me, well, I guess... Head into the terminal, get some coffee, grab a drink. Uh, yeah, we'll take ground power. I might kill the APU to save some fuel. Funnily enough, been there. You must have gone past the uh, Udvar Hazy Center on the way in. Most likely, because uh, we came in from the north, just off that from the airport, came south, then they turned us around and back into the uh, to the runway, south to north. Ever, let me go ahead and unload that out of there. I don't think I'm gonna disconnect from uh, that sim quite yet. Actually, I might not disconnect at all. Fuck it. I'll leave you guys with some audio. I'll go ahead and get the music going again, though. I love how I'm taxiing over to the United Gates. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it's fine, though. Nobody gives a shit. Okay, that might be I a mean, little... some people probably do. Washington Dulles, American Niner Hikes, 24, good afternoon. On gate, Bravo 3. Alright, guys, I'm going to mute my uh, mic and Discord. Uh, so you guys will have ATC going, I'm music. You'll be able to watch the plane. Uh, watch them unload. Uh, I will be back in uh, probably about 10 minutes uh, max. Hello. Fucking behave, Chad. Until Charlie is approved, tail to the east. American Niner 524.
Lulis America 9524 ready to taxi. American 9524, uh, taxi to the spot uh, 78 via Charlie. Taxi to spot 78 via Charlie, America 9524. I said Alpha 1-5. Uh, Caitlin, 232. Uh, Alpha 1-5 is on the other side of the ramp. Um, can give you Alpha 24, or if you'd like to go around to the other side, I can certainly make that happen as well. Just advise what you prefer. Uh, Alpha 24 is fine, Caitlin. Excellent. Uh, Caitlin 232, uh, gate Alpha 24, taxi via Charlie. Gate Alpha 24, taxi via Charlie, Caitlin. American 9524, uh, contact ground 121.625 and advise your at spot uh, 78. Advise in spot 78 to ground 121, decimal confirm 625. Ah, uh, that's correct, American 9524. Thank you. 21625. Thank you, American 9524.
Hello, United 4, sir, Heavy coming in 83, Charlie 4. United 43, Heavy, uh, Dulles, Ramp leaving, uh, Gate Charlie 4, taxi via Echo. Look for via Echo, United 43, Heavy. All Ramp Control, United 22, 28, Heavy with you. United 22, 28, Heavy, Dulles, Ramp, good evening, uh, say parking. Nash, United Gate 4, please. Uh, of course.
course, uh, check to the center and picture as planned, gate Bravo 40, uh, gate Bravo 40, taxi by a
United down the full seven with, with Giroud on Charlie for uh, spot eight and one. All right, chat, I'm back. Sorry, I had to stuff my face. Could you repeat the parking you requested? I was uh, looking for Charlie 2, Jack. Charlie 2. Um, that's going to be on the That's other always side fair. Side of the All right, let's get our shit going. Yeah, that's what I thought when he gave it. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you might want to stop sharing your screen in Discord so you don't lag yourself. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yep. I'm just looking out for you. I'll watch the stream on YouTube. Gotta support the land. Gotta help out the boy. But yeah, no. Yeah, if, if you have some time this coming week, let me know. We can get together and uh, hash out the whole Twitch thing. Yeah, I got you. I have nothing to do, like, all day today. Other than to play DVD with some of the okay. work friends. That's it. One of his work friends and his girlfriend want to hang out with me. That's like the only thing I have today. I, uh, pretty much, if he's at work, you can pretty much poke me and I'm alive and available. All right. Uh, what were you saying, Joey? I made, I pre-filed my flight plan for our next leg here. About to connect back. I switched over to Gate Bravo seventy three because that's where the American folks are at. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go ahead and connect back up. I think. And this time I'm American Airlines flight five twenty four. We'll do nineteen thousand four hundred pounds. Just round up. Press the fuel truck. Uh, taking off runway 30, I think, if I recall. Yeah. Um, departure's on 30. Why does that taste like pineapple? I don't want to know. Never mind. Concern? Right? No, because I had, uh, I heated up some leftover pizza from yesterday. And it was just regular pepperoni. It wasn't like Hawaiian or anything. And I burped mm. a little bit and it tasted like pineapple. I'm, I'm concerned. There's it pizza, sussy wussy. Mm hmm. Run with 30. What's our departure? Oh I just got like the best news I could get today. Hey, you want to share? Uh, my tail rigging for my model's almost done. My model's at 90% complete. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. We, uh, my rigger and I came up with a fun idea to link my tail to wag every time I smile. So every time I get, like, super happy, I wag my tail like a dog. Oh, my God. Chat going go feral. Your chat does nothing but go feral. <laughs> to be fair, I didn't teach them that. They taught me that. Spot 82 takes by Echo. Sounds like a good fucking time. I love my chat, but they are absolutely. Not at 680, double trying to drop. I'm not 680. Sometimes, I'm sometimes I feel like they need to get, like, punched in the face and hugged at the same time. <laughs> Just give them a good whack over the head. Stop it. Bonk. American 145, double trying Good evening. Uh, safe parking. Uh, oh, our day. I don't have a day. Oh, hey there, Dave. Uh, 77, American 145. And it's 655. Uh, American 145, we don't have a gate uh, 77. Uh, do you want to plan on gate uh, Bravo 70? Sure, uh, Bravo 70. That's pretty much giving you the that. FAA experience. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, American silence, you mean? Uh, cross over to there's Charlie, a lot of silence, uh, and it hurts. It fucking hurts. Cross over to Bravo oh, 70. That's right, I was going to step through. Uh, Bravo 70 by Charlie Michael 45. All right. I'm gonna the need them to shut up a little bit. Holy shit, ATC just chattering off in my ear was getting annoying. They have not sent me my EDC yet. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. Down to 655. 
Buns three or or departure, not arrival. Altitude three zero zero. Hold the fuck up. Oh shit! I really am just going to thirty thousand. That's weird. We exist to stare over your shoulder and judge you. Okay, Dave. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. To be fair, that's the entire point of being a streamer. Ain't that the truth? Twenty. You get stared at and judged by a chat, and there's nothing you can do because you openly ask for it. Yeah, you are not the wrong. You put you are... yourself on the interweb. Chat's gonna beat your ass. I love how I'm taking the Buns 3 departure. It's just Buns. Ooh. Booty, 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 rocket everywhere, rocket everywhere. Okay, and then that's that. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Map mode. We'll go back to route, activate and execute, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to be boarding for flight here, United 655. And I'm gonna kill myself soon, cause that was hard. Anyway. Can't wait, what? <laughs> um, I'm sorry, Dave. I'm sorry. Sir, I think there is one woman in this chat who won't let you die. Oh, well, there should be at least three in this chat that don't want me to die. Hold on. I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you tried, your woman would kick your ass, kill you herself, and bring you back to life. Yeah, true. There may be an extra step in there. Either that or you're, you're not going without me. Mm -hmm. That's how it should be, though. And then there's me. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. Hand you over to Sasha so she can kill you, and then kick your ass again. Fucking Dave was like, can I rebook to spirit? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is already spirit. Dun dun dun. That's right, mate. Four. No, not in the reserves. No, bad. Oh, fuck it. Reserves are 2.3 with a cost index of 73. Execute that. Hey, Brad, what was the ramp frequency again? Ooh, I don't remember. Hang on. It was... I think it was 130.55. Okay. That's tower, mighty ground. Honestly, I need to tune one three five point seven. Runway 30, conditions dry. All right. Select attempt 51, full bore takeoff. That's what I like to fucking see. God, and I've already for forgotten the temperature. 51, that's right. I thought I said 55 for some reason. Take off, that's gonna be flaps 
five, 38, 43, 47. Hey, uh, Dallas Clarence, this is Jeff B2 of T, looking for an IFR clearance at Cheetah Borough and Mia Vitas Hotel. How you doing? Jeff P202 dollars. Doing well. I hope you're doing well too. Maybe between typing some numbers, but also even if you wanted to put them in the feature. No one else's voices are quieter than usual. Let me fix that. I had turned down Discord a bit at one point. Uh, can one of you in Discord talk for me? Jeff P202, expect PDC. Or not. Stay silent, you fuckers. Go away. Union? I, it, I need you to talk, like, continuously for, Zero, like, three, that's ten that's seconds. I wonder which talk, I'm talking, I can continuing to talk, while I'm checking out my... Delta 1727, Delta delivery, can you repeat? Talking. Uh, okay, I that should be good. I want to know which ground fluency I should contact. Uh, contact. Uh, Roger, uh, Delta 1727, contact Ramp on 130.55. See legit, Dave? Uh, one three right. zero. One fifty seven. Uh, is there a ground frequency one three zero? Oh, so yeah, ten yes, thousand feet. One three zero point five five. Uh, if that doesn't work, let me know. Didn't kind of hear him yet. Okay, you you should be able to hear him pretty good. I didn't. Both current Condor twenty sixty seven. Oh, ball sack. Volume mixer. Condor 2067, dollars delivery, we do 5x5. Five five. Yeah, no, everything should be good, Dave. So, I have a quick question for you. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to do a transatlantic flight, but I do not have a cell call in the A330. Do I need one? Oh, maintain 3,000 feet, not 10. Uh, Condor 2067, if you're going transatlantic now, you're probably going to be very delayed uh, when you're flying over Atlantic since they're going to prioritize people with slots for CTP. So I would advise not doing transatlantic today. Roger. So, um, And what is my landing altitude? Uh, to the theory, I saw four ground frequency, but they all start with one and two. Uh, are you sure one three zero is a ground frequency? Uh, I can double check that for you. Give me a by. You ripped that guy. <laughs> pretty much, my guy. Airport elevation, we'll set that at 700. Are we done uh, fueling yet? Yeah. Yes. Do not need ground power. I never did shut off the EPU. Five, uh, never enough fuel. Well, actually, there are times where you could have too much fuel. Condor 2067, I don't know. If you and, like, you're on, not allowed to take off unless you get rid of some. Of traffic, so it's unknown how delayed you'll be. What is runway heading 301? Gotta have that backup, chat. Gotta have that backup. Eighty seven out of one forty nine boarded. Good afternoon, Dallas Delivery. Uh, this is United 655. Will we contact you when we're ready to push? United 655, I will give you a ramp frequency for push. Let me know when you're ready. We're ready to copy ramp frequency. Delta 
United 655, contact ramp on 130.55. 130.55. for ramp, thank you very oh, much. We're United doing well 655. Here. We're all our stuff. How you doing over there, bud? I'm doing good. I'm just waiting for um, waiting for boarding to finish. So ramp is indeed on 13055. Yes, yeah, I heard that as well. Yeah. Expecting runway, what was it, 30 out of here? Yep. Most of the afternoon, evening flights here, diverter Kansas City. So yeah, backup plan is always good. Ain't that the truth? No, Poseidon, no one's doing a vertical. <laughs> you know, while all that's going on, I do need to check one thing. Controls. Yoke sensitivity, because my... These curves are a little too much. Dallas delivery, good evening, uh, Delta 9026 and uh, Bravo 4-0 with information hotel request clearance to JFK. No bad Poseidon, no Hindenburg. Delta 926, Dallas delivery, uh, two things for you. Um, flight level 230 is not available. Uh, are you able to take uh, 17,000? Yeah, we can go for a one seven thousand seven delta nine or two six. Uh, delta nine or two six. Uh, great. Also, I need to uh, amend your route. Um, would you like the amendment over voice or text? I'm gonna switch over to ramp frequency now. Ramp control. Good day. Yeah, six nine heavy full length body three for Charlie twelve. We'll see if I stay back. Nice. Uh, Dallas. I've updated drivers, I've updated windows, I've uninstalled and reinstalled Discord to make sure that I am only only have the 64-bit version. I got no freaking... You know, the 967 Dulles ramp, good evening. Uh, stay parking. My audio will randomly get turned. To mute. Uh, United 967 Heavy, uh, let's plan Gate Which is kind of sort of problematic. Uh, Delta 32, taxi via Echo. Taxi via Echo, Gate Delta 32, United 967. Ram, hello, uh, China 24 Whiskey, we are at holding spot 7 other. Have you tried reinstalling the, um, that, uh, virtual audio cable? Nope. Uh, but it's not just the virtual audio alpha, cable, two, two. it's literally my headset uh, audio is getting alpha, muted. Not the oh. virtual audio cable. Two, uh, it's two, literally four, all sound. It's heavy. muted. Uh, alpha 32, taxi via Bravo. Uh, correction, taxi via Charlie. Uh, alpha 32, <laughs> taxi via Charlie. Yeah, China 24, let's get... Nine passengers left. How is your boarding going, Joe? Good, it's done. I'm uh, getting ready to go here. Well, actually, never mind. It's not done. I don't, I don't know what the hell I was just talking about. I'm 50 out of 180 passengers. Oh. I thought it was done for some reason. I couldn't hear him talking. I just confused him for a second. And I saw a little banner flash in the top left. I'm like, ah, oh, that's right. I knew that was a little fast. Oh, look. It's that uh, left turn. It's just chilling. Ooh, I got a Delta 7-5 over to my left. Oh, no, that's not a 7-5. It's an A321. Never mind. I'm sorry. Is that an Aer Lingus A320? I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done. I'm done. Wait, Yeah. Lingus? Yes. Okay. Uh, Urchina 24 with the gate Delta 21 does not appear to be occupied. Like, so if fucking like taxi via, uh, Ireland, Aer Lingus. Delta 21, that's a yeah, Dave. 
Roger, we spring over to Delta and uh, to gate Delta 21 for air turn up to four whiskey. I appreciate it. What do you mean, good save? <laughs> oh my god, it's the Good Irish run! Delta 727 at gate Delta 24 requires pushback and start. Yep, it just, just metered again. Uh, Lester, repeat, repeat, repeat. Oh shit. I really hope we get Delta it figured out. Okay, it just Delta unmuted and remuted over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, Dave, I saw pencil with long wings. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, uh, stand back. I'm gonna leave that at 512, honestly. That can go back to zero. Oh. Chat, I promise we're going to be getting in the air soon. Okay, oh, yeah. We're going to try this. Okay, uh, Delta 1727, apologies. Yeah, me too, dude. Me too. I'm pushing start on to Echo. It's approved tail to the east. So I just unplugged my keyboard, and we're going to see if that Delta has any effect on it. Yeah. And Rem, uh, Roll and Rossi's down with Steve with you on the Zulu. Because my keyboard is the only other thing other than my headset that has active controls. And I swear to God, if something's busted on this keyboard already, I'm going to cry. Because yeah, the way that it's acting, it seems like there's a short in that button. Yeah. Uh, Roll and Rock, uh, 209 Whiskey, Double Tramp, good evening, safe parking. <laughs> Until I'm standing um, makes levels specific. of delayed damn Somewhere Jesus. Okay. Do I uh, still have the wing lights on? And rep patrol, good day, United 857. Spot 81. I don't fucking need those. Yeah, 857, dollars ramp, good evening. Uh, <laughs> Poseidon Delta. said, due to budget Pilot cuts and difficulty on getting working parts, so we'll be flying with Delta one engine today. Dude, I started could started hear your it. voice as you were, as I was reading that. That, that, that's, that's cursed. Are we done boarding? Oh yeah, boarding completed. Uh, Joey, how are Delta you doing? Spot 83, I'm uh, doing okay, we're 98. Uh, if you want, I can wait for you a little bit. If I want to what? I said, if you want, I can wait for you a little bit. It's up to you. It's up to you. And uh, Roll Amarok, 209 Whiskey. Uh, let's play Gate Delta 30. Gate Delta 30, Taxi by Echo. Alright, there's so much ATC talking right now. Jeez. Delta Fay, Taxi by Echo, 209 Whiskey. Good stuff. Started. Jesus Christ, Dave. Why does that seem to be happening so often on those smaller planes? Fucking landing gear failures left and right. Hey, Emperor, I saw a meme you might appreciate. Oh, I always love a good meme. I sent it to you. I'll oh, remove the chalk. sex up no I did not mean to open another browser window god damn it the fucking fucking Taco Bell every day is 420 if you're not a little bitch Mike holding short of Delta we're looking for Delta H1 to park one more Mike I'm gonna guess like, I'm gonna get. That's actually on the official, like. Yo. The, the, the fucking fast food chains, uh, Twitters are uh, just. One, one, Mike. Uh, apologies for the delay. Cooked, and I love uh, it. Could you repeat your parking? 
Oh yeah, I love how uh, they look at each one other. Delta 1 I think. <laughs> uh, keep it normal, Mike. Uh, Speedbird 1 1 Mike, that gate appears to be occupied and it's also on the other side of the terminal. Uh, would you like gate? Uh, okay, uh, plug in my keyboard and it instantly starts freaking out. Don't I think it's the fucking keyboard. It, it the sounds like it. As much as I hate to say if, it. If you'd like something closer, um, I can give you one of the odd numbered Charlie gates. Uh, or if you'd like uh, Delta uh, 1 8, I can certainly make that happen as well. Delta 2 9 is fine, I'll uh, take that. Speedbird 1 1 Mike. Okay, uh, Speedbird 1 1 Mike, uh, gate Delta 29, taxi via Delta. Via Delta to Delta 2 to 9. 29, Speedbird 1 1 Mike. Alright, I'm gonna I'm a call for pushback. Uh, Delta 143, Delta Ramp, good evening. Uh, it's gonna be just a moment. Uh, in the meantime, actually, uh, taxi via Zulu, Foxtrot, Echo 2, hold short of Echo. Zulu, Foxtrot, Echo 2, hold short of Echo. Good afternoon, Dallas Ramp. Uh, United 655 at Delta 18 with India, ready for push and start. Hi, United 655, Dallas Ramp, good evening. Uh, a company just pushed directly behind you, but I'll uh, get you out of here momentarily. Not a problem, I can wait a few minutes. Uh, United 655. 857 is parked at Charlie 1. Thank you all for Ooh, I've got companies going behind me. I want to watch. Oh shit. No, it's a Delta. That's not a company. In unrelated news, we are out of speed tape. <laughs> Good afternoon, American 942 Heavy at spot 79, uh, looking for gate Bravo 48. Uh, American 942 Heavy, Dallas Ramp, good evening. Uh, gate Bravo 48, taxi via Charlie. Gate Bravo 48 via Charlie, American 942 Heavy. Hello, Curb 3852, we're on Delta, request stand Delta Walmart. That dude sounded uh, like an AI voice. You said gate Delta 1-1? One -one. Uh, from Delta 1-1. One -one. Okay, uh, Walker 3862 behind the uh, Lufthansa A340 off your left wing. Cross over to Charlie, uh, and then hold position. I'll get you over there shortly. Uh, after the Lufthansa cross to Charlie, I'll Walker 3862. Delta 7027, hold on. Uh, Ramp hello United twenty one thirty six requesting gate Delta five. United twenty one thirty six Bill's ramp good evening. Um, gate Delta five taxi via Delta. Delta five taxi via Delta United twenty one thirty six. And Walker thirty eight sixty two. If you want to just pull forward and then cross over to uh, Charlie, uh, at least. Uh, sir, just wait for closer to the Charlie. I see the Delta one line from near to the Delta. It is, uh, but traffic is coming towards you right now, so can you uh, pull over to um, Charlie, and then I'm going to get you worked back over. Ah, uh, Roger Walker, sir. Hey, thank you, And Walker 3862, you requested Delta 11, correct? I uh, from Delta 11, Walker 3862. Okay, thank you. You know, Joey, once we've got the 777 out, the next time we have this event, we need to uh, join the flock. Need to what? Join the flock? Yeah. Oh, God. That'd be crazy. Either join the European Exodus or fly east from here. Uh huh. And that was the one for the three, uh, you gave it short of echo to you, right? Uh, a firm. I'll actually work you back in here now. Uh, you didn't have a gate preference, correct? 
Okay, uh, Delta 143, let's plan gate Charlie 14. Uh, taxi via Echo 2, Echo. Okay, Charlie 14, Echo 2, Echo. Delta. All right, now that Delta's out of the way, we should be able to get United out of here. United 546, push back on to Echo, it's approved, tail to the east. Who the hell is 546? And apron United 2124, just coming into Delta. Do you want us to kind of come over the left here a little? Um, United 2124, apron, uh, you can uh, wait behind the walker. Behind the walker, 2124. Friends, good afternoon. United 99 Heavy is uh, approaching Delta for uh, the gate. Okay, uh, United 99 Heavy, uh, hold short of Charlie, please. Right, and Walker 3862, you can cross back over to Delta and taxi to gate Delta 11. Uh, Roger, back to mm -hmm. Delta and Delta 11, Walker 3862, thank you. Ground control, uh, United 339 holding at spot 81, going to Charlie 19er. United 3039, uh, Washington, or Dulles Ramp, good evening. Uh, gate Charlie 19, taxi via Delta. Charlie 19, taxi via Delta. Uh, we'll get out of here eventually, chat. United 2124 Heavy. Uh, did you have a gate uh, preference? I know we can go. We can even swing to the left here if it makes it easy. Okay. Uh, yeah, United 2124 uh, Gate. Uh, let's call it Bravo 74. Uh, that's just off of uh, Charlie there. Yeah, that'll let me get out of the way. Bravo 74, and thanks you guys for an awesome event. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good one. Uh, Rams Delta 7027. Can I know where the 82 is? Uh, Delta 1727, if you just want to pull up uh, short of, and hold short of Zulu. Oh, sure, as Zulu, that's uh, 727. Also, due to door issues or some discounted and tickets, passengers want to hold the, hold the door shut for the entire flight. Jesus, fuck, the sign I just saw that. <laughs> uh, Delta 926, Dallas Ground, good evening. I believe we're metering into New York right now, so let me get back to you and make sure you're good to go. I just stand by. Uh, Roger that, Delta 926. United 99 Heavy, uh, did you have a parking preference? Any H Oh, the weather just changed randomly. Uh, United 99 uh, Gate. You good? That sounded painful. Uh, gate Delta 7, painful. taxi via Delta. I don't know why. Delta 7 by so Delta. Delta. United 99 Heavy, thanks. How are you going? Uh, you as well, thank you. Oh. Ram Control United uh, 230 Heavy, short of spot 81. United 230 Heavy, uh, Delta Tram, good evening. Uh, gate Charlie 1, taxi via Delta. Holy Charlie fucking one shit. Via Delta United uh, 830, uh, 830 Heavy, 230 Heavy, sorry. Is there anyone behind me? Delta Ram, Delta 27, contact around uh, 121.65 and advise you at spot 82. Uh, Ram Delta 7077, can you see again? Alright, right, I just factory defaulted my keyboard, and now I'm updating the firmware on it. And let them know okay. that spot 82. Uh, contact ground on 121.25, Delta 7727. I'm getting really tired. Dallas Ramp, did you ever call for uh, United 655? United 655, I thought I did. It's possible I called your neighbor about 546. Uh, apologies for that. United 655, push back onto Echo. It's approved. Tail to the east. Push back onto Echo, tail to the east. United 655. And yeah, I think you might have, but it's all good. Okay, we are good to push. See, when he called 
that other one earlier, I figured that it was probably for me, and I probably should have typed up at that point, but fuck it. How much fuel we got left? Oh, yeah, we're good. 19.3. Uh, ground is uh, controlling uh, taxiways Alpha and Bravo there, so give them a call on 121.9 for push and start. 121.9 uh, for push and start, American uh, 524, thank you. And uh, Delta 9026, uh, am I uh, clear for push and start? Uh, Delta 926, still checking on uh, metering there. I'll get back to you uh, very shortly. <laughs> All right, fuckers, we're pushing back on Echo, tail to the east. Looks like runway 30 is still the active, so... I'm pretty Thank sure we're going to end up getting, like, Echo, Zulu, and Yankee 11. Runway 30, which will be a nice short taxi for us. I'm starting to get a fucking headache, chat. See him back just in time for departure. Yeah, we finally got pushback clearance. Welcome to KLM 651. Uh, KLM 651, uh, uh, Delta Facing west, yes. Yes, Delta 40. Parking uh, brakes are released. Backs off. Fire Charlie to Bravo 40, Kellen. Repeats on. Fuel pumps on. Put my pants back on. Bravo, Osprey 5 Alpha, remember, on Echo. Woo. <laughs> I disassociated and then I hear that. Uh, Lester Craft calling with that. Uh, That's call why like, Sasha was so quiet. I felt like, oh my god. I. <laughs> Felt like somebody would have picked up on that. I'm glad it was you. Um, it is, but uh, there's traffic pushing back on two. I'm almost choked on my Mountain Dew. <laughs> um, okay. Does gate Delta 30 work? I mean, you know it's not me. I'm over here fighting with my stupid okay. keyboard. Uh, I'll try five, uh, five alpha numbers. Because yeah, God forbid they include a way to disable this key. Right. Dave said, so that's where the flight attendants went. Hey, hey, look, 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 look. They don't call it a cockpit for nothing. <laughs> if you double click the frequency in V Pilot, will it set it in the plane for you? Yeah. Well, if you right click and then set COM 1, it'll, it'll set it in the plane for you. That's pretty okay. That's awesome. Ain't it though? Yeah. Engine one over the ground. N one rising. We've got oil pressure. Oh shit! What was my okay? Four point four three. I got a. That take off trim. Oh, it looks like we've actually got some fuel in the center tanks for once. Starter shut. And we're all good up top. And we don't really need the runway turn offs. It is a bright, sunny day. We're good. We're good.
Dallas Ramp United 655, ready to uh, taxi. United 655, uh, spot 82, taxi by Echo. Uh, that's just pulling short of Zulu. Taxi via Echo, hold short Zulu, United 655. All right. Oh, please set parking brakes. Whoopsies. I was, or I thought I was ready to taxi. I was not. Okay. Okay. Taxi to 82. 82 is just short of Zulu, so we'll just taxi to the line pretty much. Alright, fuck ass. Let's go ahead and disconnect and get out of my way. I gotta go. I wanna get to Chicago within a timely manner. We got an hour and 43 in the air. I'm Delta 926 Dallas Ramp. I haven't forgotten about you. I'm still trying to get in touch with the folks overhead who are also working center about uh, departures to JFK. I'm going to keep trying them. Uh, Roger that. Uh, thank you. I imagine the ground That's attendant nice. has shouted herself hoarse at this point, begging for the brakes. Well, I, for some reason, I'm not getting audio from, um, from uh, GSX anymore. I don't know why. I have to look into that. Okay. Did they tell me to have a good flight? Yes, cool. She's... Damn it, she's still there. Woman, I I see the... Yeah, I see the tag. Go, get out of the way. Unless you want to be part of the engine or a red stain on the ground, I suggest you fuck off. Yes, yes, I will have a good trip. Fuck you, I'll crash if I want to. This is my goddamn plane. <laughs> That's what he gets for the staring contest yesterday. Was that yesterday? No, that was like last week, dog. What do you mean yesterday? And Delta 926 Dallas ramp. I just heard back from them. Push and start on to Charlie's proof tail to the east. Making it. Uh, uh, sorry for that, uh, Delta 926. Uh, could you say that again? Oh shit. Way too much break. Uh, Delta 926, I just heard back. Uh, you are good to go, so push and start on to Charlie is approved. Uh, tail to the east. Oh, well, thank you for that. Uh, push back on to Charlie and, uh, uh say in the last <laughs> thing, uh, Delta 926. Uh, Delta 926, um, face your tail to the east, uh, so your nose to the west. Uh, okay. Face the tail to the east and nose to the west, uh, Delta 926. Delta Ground, United 1445, ready to taxi to Delta 5. 40 short Delta. Uh, yeah, 1445. Dallas Ramp, good evening, uh, stand by, break, United 25, Juliet, you are heading to Delta 5, correct? Yes, my please, uh, ready to take in, so if uh, you don't mind, uh, we take uh, Delta 7. Okay, apologies for that, he was showing his Delta 3 on my screen, uh, but yeah, if you need Delta 7, that's approved. Thank you, United 252. United 1445, uh, so Delta 5 and Delta 7 are taken. I can give you Delta 11 or 15 if that works. Are we able to do Delta 4 then? 39, 14, All right, I'll be back uh, in a little bit. Okay. In just a moment. If you'd like that, uh, maintain your current position. Uh, ground United 2497 at gate Delta 5, ready for pushback and a start. Dallas Ramp, United 655, holding short Zulu at spot 82. Uh, United 655, contact uh, ground on 
Right Over on. the ground on 21.625, the United 655. Sorry, United 2497 calling. Nope. Yep. We're ready for pushback. Alright, uh. 121.6. Pushback is approved. Tail E, United 21. Oh, God have mercy. Okay, understood. No worries. American 524. Dulles Ground, United 655, holding short Zulu at spot 82, looking for a uh, taxi to the active for departure. United 655, Dulles Ground, runway 30, taxi via Zulu and Hinky 11. Be advised that Mike has to put you in a whole block, uh, a whole block at 4 for the DI procedure. Uh, possible hold into O'Hare may go in effect unknown at this time. Taxi by Zulu, Yankee 11, possible hold on the de-icing for a uh, hold into O'Hare. No problem. And uh, thank you very much for being here. United 655. American 524, you can get to taxi via Zulu, Yankee 11, and to those O'Hare guys, let me find out if we're getting a possible hold into O'Hare. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, we'll continue taxi via Zulu, Yankee 11, and await further instructions regarding the hold, American 524. Ground, Condor 2627, at Cordy Church, Zulu, ready for taxi. Cargo Lux, 20... Departure holds going to Chicago. Yankee 11. Yankee 11, Condor 2627. Is that you coming up on my right, bud? I think so. Okay. I'm just making sure I have the room to get out here in front of you. You definitely do. Chat, I know you're not going to love this, but we might end up with a uh, hold on the de-icing ramp. They might freeze everything heading to Chicago, or at least departures to Chicago, because there's, a, as you know, a giant-ass stream of planes heading there from Europe. Zulu, Yankee 11. Does he want us to pull into the uh, the hold block, or is he just going to uh, route us back? Think so. I think he's, I think he's just going to tell us, but uh, I'm just going to slow down once I get around there and maybe ask him again if, if we get close to it. I'm actually going to ask him real quick. Dallas Ground, United 655. Uh, those of us going to O'Hare, do you want us to pull up to Yankee 11 and hold short, or do you want us to go to the hold block immediately? No, you're actually guys are in luck right now. So far, there's no hold for O'Hare, so let's get you guys rolling out before there is a hold. I want to get you out of here just in case if there is. You guys might be lucky. No one's communicated with me about a hold, so just continue taxi, doing Yankee 11. If something changes, I'll let you guys know. All right, taxi it like I'm Southwest, United 655. I don't recommend that, but yeah, it's actually good job that way. <laughs> In other words, I'm hauling ass. Walker 4248, you going to North Cargo? Get out of here before they put a fucking block on Chicago flights. I want to be in the air when that comes in. North Cargo, Cargo Vice, Walker 4248. Yeah, but man, there's yeah, there's a ton of planes going into O'Hare right now. I would bet my bottom dollar that we will be in a uh, an approach hold heading into Chicago if we get off the ground here. We'll see. Let's hope I know how to program yeah, that at the Phoenix. Contact Tower one two zero point one. Have a good flight to Chicago. Tower one two zero point one. See ya. Yeah. All right, I've got to get one, two, zero point one. United two twenty nine, heavy Dulles Tower one two nine zero one eight gust three zero. Oh shit! Got something coming in right in front of me. One right. 
right, clear to land, United 229 head. Sharmok 81 Tango, contact ground 121.9 with your gate number. Okay, contact 121, that's 190 with the gate number, Sharmok 81 Tango. Dallas Tower, good afternoon. Uh, United 655, holding short runway 30 at Yankee 11. Stand by. I will stand by. Good stuff. We're going to O'Hare. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun here. Jeez. I am first in line for departure too, so the moment he comes in, I am out of here. You're going. Chat, y'all still with me? Welcome to Dulles. Left turn it when able. Contact ground 121.9 with the gate number. Left enable 2190 with the gate number 121. Thanks. United 655, Dulles Tower, runway 30, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 30, United 655. I seem to be Tower, American 524 hmm. with you. We are uh, going to be holding short 30 after the United here. United, correction, American 524, Dulles Tower, Roger. I seem to be losing interior sounds every time I go to the exterior view. I, that's never happened. United 655, 129018-26, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Cleared for takeoff, United 655. See ya. All right, chat, we are out of here. American 524, runway 30, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 30, American 524. Sorry, 1470, uh, seven mile final, zero right. United 1470, still tower, wind 290018, gust 26, runway one right, clear to land. One right clear to land, United 46. United 948, left turn Kilo 2, contact ground 121.9 with your gate number. Left Kilo 2, 1215, United 948. Alright, positive right, gear up. United 655, contact Potomac departure, good flight. Over to Potomac Approach, United 655, see ya. Can I get the autopilot? There we go. Alright, Potomac Approach. Clear for takeoff 30, America 524. November 960, Whiskey Delta, Delta, Tarion, Micro. Potomac Approach, United 655 with you, uh, climbing 280 for 3,000. Or 028, sorry, for 3,000. United 655, Potomac Departure, hello, radar contact. Uh, fly present heading, climb and maintain 10,000. Fly present heading, uh, climb and maintain 10,000, United 655. Plus 
was the departure frequency? Uh, hang on. I'm currently on Potomac Approach, 119.850. Okay, Atlantic 2030, okay. Yeah, they're, they're riding us through Potomac Approach for some reason, but... Are you able to level 210 as your final? American 2033, are you able to flight level 210 as your final? Yeah, we can do that. Right. Sorry, Chet, I forgot to get the telemetry back up. Delta 1191, yes. correction, American 1191, wind 2609 or just 23, runway 1, clear for takeoff. Potomac departure, American 524 with you at 3000. American 524, Potomac departure. Hello, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to keep you at 3000 for a bit. Uh, I got trapped in the. Uh, we'll maintain 3000, American 524, no problem. United 655, could direct bond. What did you say? Clear direct buns, United 655. United 655, clear direct buns. Clear direct buns, United 655. Southwest 1208, turn right, heading 340, vectors to final approach, please. Right, 340, Southwest 48. Potomac departures, good day, United 2497, airborne passing 1600. United 2497, Potomac departure, hello, turn left, heading 250, climb and maintain 1010,000. Left 250, climb and maintain 10,000, United 2497. <sighs> Actually, United 2497, uh, disregard, climb and maintain 4,000 for now. 4,000, United 2497. American 524, uh, were you given a heading or are you flying the departure? Sorry, what? Uh, I was oh, maintaining runway heading, I have got bus 3, that's my departure, sorry about that. I don't think she's here at the moment. She said she'd be back, but I didn't hear her. Didn't hear her come back. Climb maintain 17,000, clear direct buns, American 524. And yeah, 655, climb and maintain 17,000. Climb to 17,000, American 655. I'm sorry, United 655. I got tripped up listening to you respond. <laughs> yeah, I should have clarified that. I didn't realize if I was just supposed to maintain runway heading or just immediately start turning through buns. Probably should have just done it. Yeah, I see, because he told me to maintain. And I wasn't sure if he wanted me to, like, just continue on that heading and, like, meet up with my departure or not, but I saw traffic to my right on the, uh, nav display, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna just hold this heading. Potomac Honda Jet 960, Whiskey Delta is level 3000. Fucking Honda Jet? Honda Jet 960, Whiskey Delta, Potomac Departure, Radar Contact, Climb and Maintain 1, Correction, Climb and Maintain 5, level 230, and I'll get you the turn here in a moment. 230, Zero, Whiskey Delta. United 655, Contact Washington Center, 133.72, good day. Over to Washington Center, United 655, good day. 133.7, he said. American 2033, contact Washington Center, 133.72, good Yeah. Uh, I think so, yeah. 133.72 for American 20... 133.72. Uh, MedStar 1, traffic, 9 o'clock and around 8 miles to southwest 737-800 on the river for runway 1. Uh, we're looking out, we're over, find the field now, 1500 feet, MedStar 1. Uh, okay, Metro 1, Roger. Should be no factor, but just in case, maintain visual separation with that trap. We'll go, Metro 1. 
Southwest 1208 traffic, say helicopter over flying the Washington DC Center. Good afternoon, American 2033. Passive level 120, climbing 190. Uh, Southwest 692, you're still with me. Contact him on 109.85. American 2033, Washington Center, good afternoon. Climb maintain level 210. 210 for American 2033. Washington Center, uh, United 655, climbing 150 for uh, 17,000. United 655, Washington Center, good afternoon. Climb maintain level 300. Flight level 300 for United 655. Polaris 165, excuse me, descending to the Caps 3 arrival, Washington landing north, altimeter 29er, A9. I did kill the APU, right? Caps yeah. Arrival, landing north and 29er, A9er. Yeah, I'm, um,. Very much loving Active Sky. It's. It's just doing such a great fucking job. Delta P60 heavy radio check. Class aircraft 5 by 5 Dude, I'm looking out over the dash right now out the, out the window. And it's just fucking gorgeous. You know how, like, default live weather, the, the bottoms of the clouds will never be, like, flat. They're always got some puff to the bottom. Delta 312, welcome to rally. Exit left, one able taxi to the ramp. These uh, just Bravo, fucking here. perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, Delta 360, Washington, are you up? Delta 360, I have the apologies uh, with you here. I just had some network issues. All right, sir. Uh, <clears throat> what does the arrival board look I like need you to descend, for uh, and maintain level 400. 400. Refresh this page. And 360, Squawk Cadet. Oh, Jesus Christ. They've still got 153 arrivals coming Delta in. 1727 contact, New York. 27 departures. Have a good flight. Uh, contact New York, Delta 7027. Can I, can you repeat the following speed for the New York Center? 2532. 2532, Delta 7027. Um, Washington Center, good day, United 2497, passing flight level 145 for flight level 170. Delta 2497, Washington Center, good evening. Climb and maintain flight level 340. Climb and maintain flight level 340, United 2497. United 1791, Washington Center. Cabin altitude, son of a bitch, did I do it again? I did. I did. 524, Washington Center, good afternoon. Climb and maintain flight level 300, welcome aboard. Damn! I did so good on the first flight, too. Fuck off. Delta 360, radar contact to the west of the Kinston VOR at flight level 400. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Delta 360. Washington Center, American 1191, follow 100. American 1191, Washington Center, good afternoon. Climb maintain flight level 210. Washington Center, United 655 needs to step away for five minutes or less. Uh, that's approved. Parking back. All right. I'll be right back. Oh, thank you. Center, hello, United 1791, between level 3, uh, 10. United 1791, Washington Center, good afternoon. Descend via the Freedom 5 arrival, Washington landing north, altimeter 2989. All right, descend by the uh, Freedom 1 arrival, and uh, Washington landing north, copy all, United 1791. I'm 
American 2033, descend via the proud to arrival. Philadelphia altimeter 2987. Descend via the proud to arrival. American 1191, descend via the proud to arrival, Philadelphia altimeter 2987. Get at 1856, uh, right 10 degrees, descend and maintain 5000. Right 10, descend to 5000, United 1856. We got a 2387 contact, Atlanta Center now, 132.9 or 7. Have a good flight. 132 or 7, Washington, Honda Jet, 960, Whiskey Delta, is passing 199 for 230. Honda Jet, 960, Whiskey Delta, Washington Center, good afternoon. Climb 18, level 320. All right, chat, the boy is back. Climb 320, zero, Whiskey Delta. Good. Condor 2067, Washington Center, good evening. Climb 19, level 350. Hello, 350. Washington Center, United 655 is back. Uh, Condor, are you not on the departure? No, the departure guy gave us a heading. What are you, okay, can you go direct, Bross? Thank you, sir. 655, welcome back. You know what, Paul? Shit happens. You know, man. Delta 360 contact Jacksonville on 13592. Have a good flight. 13592 for Jacksonville. Thanks, sir. And, sir, can you repeat the uh, flight for 35. 35, zero. <laughs> hey, uh. Me too. Yeah, what's up? I got a funny for you. American okay. 8735, descend via the... Actually, I've got a few funnies for you. Appears the landing north. Hell yes. Altimeter at Roanoke, 2 9 9 9 All right, we'll descend via the Chesley 5 arrival, Charlotte landing north, altimeter 2 9 9 9 American 8735. Hey, yo, I like that sushi, though. Right. It's a poor man's dinner right there. But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh, the inhalation no. hazard? I've been alive 20 years and have done the right thing to say when someone knocks on the door of a public bathroom, come back with a warrant. God damn it. <laughs> We're coming. <laughs> Man shows the clips to his fish. Oh my god. Imagine being ripped out of your comfortable life by a higher being and getting exposed to the glory of the cosmos and then immediately getting put back. Yeah. Okay, that brain is gonna have we'll fucking go. domain expansion and then question his existence. Bro ain't gonna survive. <laughs> Imagine previewing the cosmos and then just nothing. How would you feel if you had like your brain expanded basically? That fish became sentient that day. <laughs> oh yeah. It grew a sense of self. <laughs> mm-hmm.
fucking wild though. Oh, wait, Paul, you said you guys can't hear Discord? What the fuck? Hold on, Damn say it. something for me? Yeah, y'all should be able to hear I'll Discord, I'll no problem. Russian container, uh, uh, DCA, please, Volaris 165. Volaris 165, what was that, sir? Uh, can you... I'm over here just oh. cleaning out my PC, to be honest. You cut off every I time. I feel that. What did, what did you ask? Sir? I have so many, like, images and other shit. Uh, I have... Day, hang on. Uh, we're landing, I've needed it, to, uh... Yeah, you know clean this out for a while, especially like my fucking downloads. Jesus Christ. So my C drive is on a 500 gig M.2, right? I got a hundred gigs left of free space. Uh, I've got a hybrid drive that's two terabytes with 441 gigs left. I've got another two terabyte M.2 United that has... Hang on. Have a good landing. United 655, leave airspace to the west, unfortunately, Indianapolis is offline, radar services are terminated. Have a great rest of your flight to Chicago. Switch to advisors to Brute. Over to Unicom, United 655, see ya! See ya! <laughs> see ya! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, one, two, two point eight. <laughs> That motherfucker. <laughs> Next time, I'm gonna just be like, "See ya." <laughs> <laughs> oh, where was I? Oh yeah, the M.2, two terabyte M.2. That's just got flight sim and fucking uh, Star Citizen on it, and I've got like a terabyte left on it. That one's new. Thank you, Sasha. Then. A six terabyte regular old ass hard drive with three terabytes left on it. <laughs> That's where all my videos and shit go, and a shit ton of games from Steam. And then another one terabyte SSD. Fucking move. And then there's me that has a two terabyte SSD and a one terabyte boot drive. <laughs> I it went is. heavy. You need on to step the, uh... your shit up, dog. I went heavy on this PC. I mean, I bought the 3070 back when it was like a thousand USD plus, so you have to give me some slack. Girl, I don't even want to talk about graphics cards. I bought a 37, no. So I used to have a 20, no, was it a 2060? I think I, I think I had a 2060 at one point, whatever. And then I bought a 3070, upgraded to that, gave Sasha the 2060. Uh, mm -hmm. Then, Later on, like two months later, I bought Sasha her 4080 that she has now. That was a slightly late Christmas gift. Uh, and then after that, I upgraded to a 3090, which is currently in Joey's computer. Was it later? Was it early? I thought it was early. No, your 2080, I got you after I bought the, uh, the 3070. I was pretty sure you got it on Black Friday. No, no, the, uh, well, oh, maybe, maybe, hold on. Yeah, I think you're right, because I remember going, going to Chicago to get that. Oh, honey, of course I'm right. Babe, oh. chill. Anyway. <laughs> uh, and then, so yeah, then I bought the 3090, I sold the 3070. I think the 2060 is currently, yeah, the 2060 is currently in the server's PC, um, so Joey and I traded the 3090 for this 4K monitor, so it, it, that's how that happened. He's got the 3090, I've got a 4K monitor, and then I bought myself a 4080. Like, Sasha and I have the exact same computer, except she's just got more RAM, and her uh, parts are from different manufacturers than mine, but same shit. Yeah, pretty neat, though. Okay, is cabin pressure ever going to stabilize? Because I'm really tired of seeing this light.
Also, welcome back. I, uh, how did the fight for your life go, Sasha? I'm sorry. Uh, I heard, like, none of that because now my keyboard decided to act it up again. Oh, that's fun. I, uh, I, I was saying, welcome back. How did, uh, how did fighting for your life go? Oh, my God. It's like only when you talk. Oh, it just hates me. First mm -hmm. thing is no money left over, but gives a 40 80 for Christmas. Look, back then, I had cash, okay? I don't want to talk about it. That now was... Now we're all poor. Now, see, Paul, that was... What? End of 2022 that the 4080s happened. That was Christmas 2022. Uh, I was broke for this recent one. <laughs> that was when I was still working at the airport. It nearly destroyed me. Oh, hey, Dave. Welcome back, bud. I'm gonna fill up my water. Would you mind let me know if somebody talks to me? They probably won't because we're on Unicom, but just, you know. Sure. I'm gonna get some more cold water from the fridge. I'm no, right no problem, Bob. No, no hauntings, Dave. No hauntings yet. This is getting ridiculous. Just don't talk to me for a minute. I can't hear anything. Where am I working now, Paul? Nanya. Damn, uh, nowhere, actually. Um, this is... I'm, I'm trying to build this so that I can eventually make money from it. That's... This is what I'm doing, dog. But I have some irons in the fire. Things I'm looking at doing here soon. Uh, if, if Joey can find some fucking free time again at some point, we can uh, continue learning me some fucking Java. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. We should do some of that. We definitely should. That and, uh... Yeah, no, I'm not going to say much more than that. Uh, that's pretty much it. I got a, I got a great little project we can do. Oh, goody. build a little uh, command line thing that'll let you search for an airport and we'll start because we're going to build it up right so we're going to start with just we're going to put some stuff in a file and just read the lines from it get the information like that mm -hmm. and then we'll graduate to pulling that information from somewhere else like a HTTP request or something thereof okay be cool It'd be a nice little like we can just work on the same thing for a little bit and it'll just gradually scale up the complexity and then by the end we'll have the program built that we wanted <laughs> yeah idea yeah, hopefully oh, i can't wait that'll be nice not having to go to fucking what is this damn website fucking flight aware and looking for the right type of plane and the and the right airline and trying to see if it's got a gate assigned to it or just pull uh -huh. open a quick program that we threw together and type in the fucking iCal code for the airport choose the airline see what gates they use yeah the, the question I have here that's coming up for me is which Chicago center do you think we would go for whenever we get there Whichever one sends us a mess message to contact them. Oh, yeah, they'll send us a message? Yeah. Okay. You asked me that last week, Paul, and yeah, I'm just... haven't had the want to do much editing, and I'm kind of terrible at it. 
I mean, granted, I think the most editing I've done on any one video was uh, the fucking Cold Waters one that I have up, if you end up taking a look at that at some point. It was good. It was good. I'm proud of it, but... So, Paul, what the software is, is essentially what we want to make is something you can just open up and type in... You, you, okay, say you type in an airport in ICAL, right? Say EDDF, fucking Frankfurt. And then you get a list, either a list of all the airlines that are there, or like a you can choose from a little drop down. I don't know how we're going to do it. But uh, you find what airline you're looking for, and you look for the aircraft type, and it, it'll give you a list of the gates that that aircraft type... <coughs> parks at for that particular airline and as long as um oh god my brain just went blank as long as flight aware has a gate assignment for the flights that you're looking up it'll it'll give you information so it won't just be the u.s i didn't say edds i said eddf as in foxtrot frankfurt I know that EDDS is Stuttgart. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. And that's what scares me. Foxtrot. And that's what scares me. You know, fair enough. <coughs> oh, fuck. I just choked on my own water. Oh, no, you're good, Paul. You're good. Is that Berlin Teagle? EDDB? Oh, no, that's Brandenburg. Oh, Teagle closed in 22? How did I not know that? They're adding ads or so the program and earn money. No, we're not putting any ads in it. No, it's going to be completely freeware as far as I'm planning. However, depending on what we find in the, uh, in the, uh, Wait, hold on. Uh, what is it called? Hold on. Press. What? Are you wanting to call it EDDB? What? I was sorry. I was just reading over your chat real quick. Are you wanting to call it EDDB? No, he was. He was being a little shit and fucking quizzing me on which airport is EDDB. Oh. Because I got Elite Dangerous database. Oh my god! Yeah, I remember that website. That's what EDDB is to me. Yeah, I that crossed my mind when he said it too, but no, that's uh the ICAO code for the Berlin Brandenburg airport. No, but as I was saying, Paul, uh depending on what we find in the uh like license agreement to use their um data in a, in any program, we might eventually have it be like Five bucks? I don't fucking know. But I think that'd be a very useful program. At, at the very least, it'd be useful for me. Like, people like me that like to, like, go into the actual gates that the airlines use, that'd be kind of tops. Cuts out a lot of searching.
let's take a look see see how far we are from TD 266 why is auto throttle suddenly off fuck WTF what the fuck Why do I suddenly smell peanut butter? What the fuck is happening? Am I being haunted by a peanut butter loving ghost? Maybe. Maybe. Sasha, what have you done? Don't, don't, don't ask questions you don't want answers to, and stay away from the Ouija board at the bottom of the stairs. God hey. damn it. <laughs> oh my Jesus. So, There's, you guys there is literally a Ouija board at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Mounted on a wall like a fucking trophy and wrapped in plastic wrap. Just don't touch it with your bare hands, you Gucci. I'll rub my do dick guys, on do it. You, hey. <laughs> do you guys want to know how much I just deleted off my PC? Six gigs. How much? Uh, um, more than that. Oh no. Oh no, way more than that. I just deleted 533 gigs worth of shit. Jesus Christ. Help. It's Jason porn. Help. <laughs> no, no, it's a very, a very specific man, actually. Oh God! And he's at work. Hashtag murdered Sasha with that one. <laughs> nah, it was like all my fucking vods that I needed to edit, and I just didn't. And I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna get the new stuff and stuff, the old stuff. So I just started deleting gigs upon gigs. Of mm. freaking data. Yeah, I did that not that long ago. I had to do it. I cleaned out all my pictures. I made sure I didn't have double of all my stuff. I organized my 1.0, my 2.0 stuff. I have a folder of things to post, like sussy and not. Oh, God. You know, actually, now that I'm looking at it, considering how great my performance is, like streaming with OBS versus Streamlabs. I think I can actually start recording my fucking streams again while I'm streaming them. Honestly, I'm gonna be completely honest. I have not found any reason to record just because when you do Twitch, you can just download your video in its entirety. Yeah, true, true. Oh, that reminds me, chat. This may be, may be the last stream I do on YouTube, at least for Flight Sim. Although, you know what I was thinking? I could keep the Flight Sim streams on YouTube and then other games that I do and shit that I stream, I could do that on Twitch. There's another great thing you could think about, too. You can multi-stream with yeah. OBS. How do I do that? I was looking for, for that um, in OBS, at least. Because I know Streamlabs, you got to be, like, premium or some shit, and I'm not doing that. Yeah, I pay for premium. I won't even cap you. Yeah, I ain't got the money for that. Um... I know that they have something if you're like unemployed, they do a lot less. Um, also something you can do that's kind of cheaty. I will type it to you. What, just use multiple streaming softwares at once? No, it's cheaty and I did it for a while, but if you get caught, you get in tubby. Oh. OBS Studio and Restream. Got you. Oh my god. I did that for like eight months running. And it worked. I fucking feel it. It was worth it, but if, if they catch you doing it, they're like, oi, bap. Okay, cool. So I'm looking at Restream right now. Multi stream to two channels, which is all I'll need. Cross-platform chat, restream branding, 30 plus, wait, restream branding. Ew, I don't want anyone else's fucking branding on my streams. Oh, God, yeah. the other one's, it, it, without it, it's $41 a month. Never mind, I will accept it. 
Yeah, that's annoying. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. You know, I still don't know what, uh, what freaking center controller we're going to be at here. Well, like I said, buddy, it doesn't matter. They'll contact us. That makes things easier, doesn't it? Makes things a lot easier. Because yeah. the one that I see in the VATS MAIP does not exist anywhere in VPilot. Hmm. Huh. Imagine isn't that. that. Isn't that something? I... I'm imagining it. <laughs> Holy shit, there's... Five different Chicago centers on. Yeah, let's hope that we know how to put in a hold here. I think it should be, it should just be able to like compute it. You know what I mean? Um, if I recall in the A320, if you go into your, here, share your screen real quick. Well, no, you just got to click it and then hit hold. And then you put in the de details, like the turn, the inbound course. And then I would just select the computed one, probably, unless they gave me a specific inbound course. I would just fly it according to what the star says. But. Yeah. Oh, that'll be fun. I'm halfway anticipating that actually happening because holy shit, these conga lines are immense and there are several. <laughs> They are hefty. Oh, and I've got one person who's God. like probably 12 miles or so behind me at about 5,000 feet, 4,000 feet above me. And uh, that's going to be fun on the descent and everything because we're going to RD. Thank God Chicago has the gates for this kind of shit. <laughs> uh huh. You know what's really funny though? Looking at the arrival board for O'Hare right now, that's kind of around where, uh, I mean, it's lower. It's it's very much lower, but that's about where our airport is at for arrivals when um, the football games start up for Notre Dame. Hell yeah. When I worked there, I think the most amount we've had for any single game was like 180-something arrivals in over like two days. Jeez. Dude, I told you, we had to straight up shut down a runway and use it for parking. The north-south runway became a ramp. Oh, yeah, this is going to be interesting getting in there. That'll be fine. Let me ask you something, all right? I've got a quick question. Quick question. Small little question for you. How do you know that they will contact us? Did it say that somewhere or is that just like something I didn't read in the in the manual? No, that's just kind of that some SOP and I've been through it. Ah, uh, that's fair. Anytime just... I've been on Unicom and enter center airspace, they will contact me and they'll say, hey, contact center on blah, blah, blah. Well, all else fails, I guess I'll just contact, like, the first one in the list and then go from there. <laughs> yeah. You'll get a you'll get a, uh, an ACARS message from them. Actually, it won't even be an ACARS message. It'll be directly from that particular controller, so it'll say the frequency on the tab that pops up. Oh, Sasha, my darling. Uh -huh. I will be on the ground in like uh, 41 minutes. Okay. Possibly a little more if we end up in a hold, but it, I, I don't think we'll end up in a hold. We might, but we probably won't. How you doing over there? Did you figure it out? Uh, I just made a script that blocks all input, so the only way to change my volume now is through actually opening the volume manager. Oh, you even blocked out the uh, the headset one? 
Uh, the headset one actually still works, but it only controls for the headset. Got you. So, Joey, I saw something interesting in a uh, video I watched recently by Mentor Pilot. That. So, he's talked about how uh, it's very easy to get the, uh, the cord for the headset stuck in the window. If you, like, have the window open on the ground in the cockpit and, like, not noticing it until you're in flight. And uh, he was telling a story about when he was a first officer, how he got his headset cord stuck in the window and he didn't notice it till they were already in the air. And uh, he told the captain about it and the captain's just like, oh, just slide the window open and grab it. <laughs> like, excuse me? And the captain's like, yeah, just excuse slide me? the window open, pull it in, shut the window. It, it's fine. So he apparently very nervously... Uh, pulls the handle for the window in the cockpit, opens it, brings the cord in, shuts the window, and he was just kind of sitting there flabbergasted at the fact that he just did that. And uh, I find it funny that just that's a thing that you can just fucking do. Like, apparently, the plane pushing through the air creates enough of a blockage on the side where that window is that there's like no wind because <laughs> he was saying how he was like expecting for it to you know just start blowing in through the fucking window like crazy it's just like there was barely even a breeze I love that it's like things that happen in the cockpit that you don't ever want to think about <laughs> oh man! Fucking Poseidon! Yeah, dude. Yes, it do. <laughs> I can't remember where I heard this, but I read or saw or something somewhere the quote. Um, you could best describe flying an airplane in this way: long hours of what some might call boredom punctuated by short moments of pure terror <laughs> yeah I guess that's a most apt description for like the airline stuff it's probably there's probably more a higher density of terrorizing moments if you're doing something like GA or bush trips or that kind of thing <laughs> <laughs> that might be a little more uh Interesting. That's like when I worked at the airport, the uh, the private flights that we always dealt with. Anytime I'd have to go out and fuel them or do whatever with them, and the pilots would be chilling outside with me, I'm just, I just I always tell them have a fun but uninteresting flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I hope hope your flight is boring. <laughs> and one of them kind of looked at me and cocked his head to the side, and then and I was just like, look, if your flight's exciting, there's something wrong. <laughs> He's just like, honestly, I never thought of it that way, but you are fucking right. Depends on the type of flying love, you do, uh, airline you have a Poseidon, I don't want to hear it, sir. I, I think you've had far too much excitement in your flying career. Let's be honest. Fucking cockpit fires and such. One of my favorite stories from Poseidon's uh, years as a pilot in the Air Force 
was the time that he was test flying an F-18 and he had a, an electrical fire behind the uh, behind his instruments. That sounds fun. And he just, he tells the story so nonchalantly too, like, oh yeah, I had a cockpit fire. It was an electrical fire behind the instruments. I, what'd you do? Did you punch out? And not until I got about a mile or so from the runway. <laughs> that was only because I couldn't see. I'm like, bro, what? Huh. Uh, what? <laughs> but I mean, in-flight fires do spice things up. <laughs> Why are my instruments spicy? <laughs> Guys, is the air supposed to be crunchy? <laughs> Wait, what? What did I disassociate <laughs> and come back to? Oh, God. So, a very close friend of mine uh, has been in the Air Force in Canada for fucking decades now. And uh, he used to test fly new aircraft. Apparently, at one point, he was flying an F-18 headed back to base, and uh, he got an electrical fire behind the uh, instruments in his cockpit. Tried to fly it back all the way to the airport, uh, but had to punch out about a mile from the strip because he just couldn't see anymore. There was too much smoke in the cockpit. I was like, why is the air crunchy? <laughs> he was like, oh, the ejection system failed. Oh, shit. <laughs> then he wrote it in. God damn. I wish my hands would stop being fucking dyslexic. Trying to type I try to and click fucking one up. Thing. No, I'm trying to click one thing and somehow I hit delete instead of rename. Like, ah! Dude, I'll go to click on, um, like, Discord and I'll end up hitting the button next to it every fucking time that opens a new fucking browser and it's really irritating. Well, I'm sitting here trying to document. Unfortunately, I got scammed by two artists, so I have to make a fucking report about it. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, a lot of shit to the money. Not happy about it. Been waiting fucking ten... Yeah, almost ten months for both these people to give me what I paid for, and they keep disappearing magically. It's like, either give me what I paid for or give me my fucking money back. Sad. I'm up to 11 screenshots <laughs> for one of them. Fucking Dave. That just happened to me more times than I can count. Pop out for a second to relieve my bladder. I accidentally just transmitted part of that, but who cares? I didn't hear any of it. Alright, well. <laughs> I mean, like, on I that like sim, I didn't hear any of it. How long have we been live for? Four hours and 22 minutes. God damn. Damn. And so far, that's just a flight and a half. Good God. He should be on the same frequency, Dave. We're on Unicom. At least I think I'm on Unicom. 22.8, mm -hmm. yeah. So either he's on the wrong frequency or it just didn't actually transmit. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, train, we get it. You're here. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know what they say, Joey? Propane and propane accessories. Yeah. Hopefully we have enough fuel to, uh, to do all the holding, if there is some holding. 
Well, I have. Let me take a look at my like payload. Should have put in more reserve fuel, I think. So, final reserve plus alternate. I've got six thousand seven hundred pounds on top of um, prep fuel, and even then, I won't even use all of that. Yeah, I'm forecasted to have 7.4 thousand when I get there, so I should be a guy. Yeah. It should be good. Chat. Let's see where we're at. Oh, I've almost escaped Ohio. <laughs> I think once we start getting down, I'm going to ask for um, Dweeb direct to Vogler for the approach into uh, 27 Center. Actually, let me make sure that's actually still. Oh, hold on. I got a message from center. center and seven right. Oh, you did. Cool. One three one three four point eight seven five. Hey, I need to hop out. I'm being requested in the other chat for the gaming. Okay. It was nice hanging out with you guys. I'll catch you guys later. I'll still be lurking though. Okay. Yeah. You just supporties. Thank you. I'll see you later. Yeah, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Good luck, Sasha, with all the issues. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Uh, Chicago Center, United 655 with you. Flight level 300. Did you contact center yet? Yeah, I just did. Chicago Center, American 524 is with you at flight level 300. American 524, Chicago Center, right then. Well, he didn't say anything else, so I guess yeah, he saw it. Yeah, radar contact, just one zero miles northwest of Rosewood Hall 300. I don't even think I'm actually in his airspace yet. No. Ah, it's fine though. I'm perfectly happy Zero, to have some uh, control. Two whiskey, Charlie, contact Chicago approach one one nine point zero. Two one one nine point zero. Two whiskey, Charlie. Thank you very much, sir. American five twenty four radar contact two zero miles southeast of Rosewood via Art Follow three zero zero. Approach, Speedbird 2, Whiskey Charlie, with approaching 1200. Approach 2, Whiskey Charlie, flip the switch, 119.0. Sign, I'm not landing on Lake Michigan, fuck you. Say Miracle on Lake Michigan. <laughs> Sign, just some Charlie, birds, which I hope that doesn't two, two, happen. Whiskey Charlie, you're still with Chicago Center, contact Chicago Approach 119.0. Chicago Center, good day. United 2497 with you, flight level 340. United 2497, Chicago Center, identity. I haven't gotten any screenshots during these flights. Uh, Chicago Approach, do you read me? And Fever 2, Whiskey Charlie, you're still with Chicago Center. Contact Chicago Approach 119.0. What's your expected time in the air? I've got about just under 30 minutes left. So you'll be done streaming in about an hour. Oh, 
a little less than that, probably about 45 minutes. Okay, 2497 radar contact, 30 miles southeast of Rosewood VR, follow 340. I might go ahead and get my shit going. No, 2497 okay. radar contact, 30 miles southeast of Rosewood Did you decide on what you want to do yet? Nope. You know, Rose you should leave it up to chat. Throw some options into a poll, see what they want to see. That's if I had people that would actually click in right off the bat. Well, oh, you've got a couple that are usually there right off the bat, but yeah, you're right, though. Paul said, what do you think when will seven, triple seven release? I heard some beta people saying they're doing a lot of beta flying. Yeah, probably within a week or two. At least that's my hope, because I really want to get my hands on that bird. United 2386 Chicago Center. Good afternoon. Climb maintain follow 370. Resume normal speed. All right. I'm going to dip out of here. Uh, I'm going to jump over to Grips and see what those two are doing and see if they want to hop on for stream tonight. Okay. Um, if we do Star Citizen, I'd say just kind of like set some sort of an actual goal so we're not just aimless, because I think that's that's what's really been holding us back the last couple of streams. Yeah. Uh, or we have goals and, you know, the servers just say no. Yeah, true. Alright, I will message you when I'm done. Oh, she's gone already. Damn. Rubbish beer and chili dogs. Target player shits their whole ass. <laughs> Keep, uh, two with Charlie, uh, Fucking Poseidon. <laughs> I'm so done with you, dude. <laughs> I'll throw the whole ass away. It's tainted. There's no going back. I wonder if Captain Canada is still streaming. Oh shit, yeah, he is. Oh, he's doing New York to LA. God. American 47 Chicago Center, clear direct hulls, cross hulls that maintain 1 2000. Uh, the O'Hare altimeter is 3019 er and when able, maintain 300 knots. The center control is getting heated, yo. Hulls and cross hulls at 1 2000, altimeter 3019 er Chicago, oh. and when able, at speed 300 knots, American 47. Come on, man, he's from the UK. Go easy on him. That accent just. It disarm all people. There's nothing less threatening than a British accent. Unless it's like the 1800s, then fear the, fear the tea. Is that American 207 looking for a descent? Sure. American 207, have it for you shortly. Uh, you shouldn't, you'll be fine. Uh, and American 207, maintain follow 340. Now it's 655, clear direct hulls, cross hulls that maintain 1 2000. The O'Hare altimeter is 3019er and 1 able, maintain 300 knots. Uh, clear direct hulls, uh, maintain, I'm sorry, what altitude would you like for me to maintain at hulls for United 655? United 655, cross hulls that maintain 1 2000. 1 2000 at hulls, uh, United 655. Hey, United 655, when able, maintain 300 knots. And when able, maintain 300 knots. United 655. Jeez. Alright. Down to 12. And... 300 knots. 
Sabre 2 Whiskey Charlie, contact Chicago Approach on 124.35. If you don't get anything there, come back. It's cute. Over to 124.35, um, Sabre 2 Whiskey Charlie. Thank you very much. I'm very sorry. No worries. Forecast, quest descent winds. Uh, okay. Time to start dealing with descent stuffs. Deeper 299, contact Chicago approach 119.0. Approach 119.0, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Chicago Center 9903, climbing through 1, 3,000, up to 1, 5,000. United 903, Chicago Center, climb, maintain, follow 350, resume normal speed. Resume normal speed, uh, climb, maintain, flight level 350, United 903. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang American on. American 207, descend and maintain, flight level 240, one able, maintain 300 zero zero knots. I just heard something move. What the fuck was that? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I did not expect him to give me a descent direction this early, so I was not prepared for that. That's all right. Worked out in the end. No biggie. United 1824, clear direct Morgantown. Direct Morgantown for 1824. With the Chicago Radar, Los Angeles Cargo Space Testing Channel 210 for 10,000 feet inbound, Ecolima XWR. German Cargo 383, Chicago Center, Roger D. O'Hare, altimeter 3019. Chicago Good Day, Speedbird 153, so you're free Speedbird 153, Chicago Center, Roger. Dave, I, I'm pretty sure I just heard a Frenchman in a fucking uh, BA jet. Clear direct hulls, cross hulls that maintain 1 2000. The O'Hare altimeter is 3019. -er. And American 207 cross halls at maintain 1 2000. Just the two of us. We uh -huh. can land it if we try. Just the two of us. This song might be copyright. Just the two of us. <laughs> Just the two of us. <laughs> Play a lot. I don't give a fuck. I'm not monetized yet. As much as I'd like to be. Speaking of which, everyone, it's that time again. If you haven't yet, hit that American fucking like button. Descend and maintain follow 240 and maintain 250 knots. Uh, descend and maintain flight level 240, maintain 250 knots. American 524. United 2497, descend and maintain follow 240, maintain 250 knots. Okay. ILS is on 111.9. Or... Maintain Final approach course, 273. Beepers 153, clear direct hulls, cross hulls that maintain 12,000. The O'Hare altimeter is 3019, one able, maintain 300 knots. 
Remember to the tower to hold cross here 12,000 and stay at 12,000 and the possible up here. Decision height is 853. Alright, Mr. Approach Procedure, climb to 1100, then a climbing right turn to 4000 on heading 290. And CGT VOR ready 322 outbound to Yukon. We need 48 CGT and Clear it out. Yeah. No time problem, Lati. That'll be no. Yeah, whatever. Anyhow. It All looks right, like well. it looks like they're giving us some shortcuts to try to get in before some other traffic, just to get us out of the way. Got a 787-900 ahead of me to the right at like 28 fix. So he's below me. I was about to say, this is probably the longest I've had flight sim open at any one time. And then I remembered that six and a half hour stream, literally, what, two weeks ago? Or was that last week? Jesus. And a uh, British paper 153 and approach will sign the runway to you there. If you look at the ATIS on 135.4, they have all the landing runways there, and approach will sign you the runway. Oh, I, yeah, I need to take a look at ATIS. No problem. Uh, let's see. ILS runway 27 center approach. ILS runway 27 right approach. ILS runway 28 center approach. Simultaneous approaches in use. Departures expect runway 28 right from November 5. 9,750 feet available. Oh, part of the runway is shut down. No one American in. American 524, clear direct halls. Cross halls that maintain 1 2000. The RHA altimeter is 3019 er and maintain 300 knots. Uh, descend and maintain 1 2000, maintain 1 2000 at halls, clear direct halls, altimeter 30, decimal 19 er when able, maintain 300 knots. American 524. Read that correct. Hey, look at you. All right, direct halls. Uh, this one. See, my ability to remember oh, that much information oh. is painfully low. I'm I'm actively listening to it and trying to write it down, and I just end up just dead in the water. And he said three zero zero knots. So. Yeah, same speed he gave me. A night 2467 clear direct halls, cross halls that maintain 1 2000. The Herald Center 3019 are all hella better speed for you here in a little bit. Okay. Clear oh, hi, sweetness. Doesn't look like I'm doing it. So it doesn't look like you're doing what? Any streaming tonight? I just I can't find a motivation to play anything specifically. A night 2497 clear direct halls and cross halls that maintain 1 2000. Just not working out for me. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want, we could watch some uh, Hunter x Hunter after this. Or we could watch some Fallout. <laughs> yeah, Fallout. Roll out yep. through the fallout, baby, to my loving arm. Eh, either way, just 
spending some time with you sounds really fucking good after this. Oh, I bet. Hey, I wonder if now that I'm not using slobs, I wonder if I can actually like stream War Thunder. Oh, not maybe. I, I kind of do. I definitely do. I see people to fucking play it with. <laughs> Yeah, fuck it. Maybe I'll take a. Maybe I'll do a match in somebody's air tree. American 47 contact, Chicago approach 119.0. The, uh, the approach, approach controller for. Or not the approach controller, but the center controller for fucking Chicago is snippy today. Yeah, I. Shit until I get my. Where the fuck's my old one? Why not webcam, Paul? Uh, I just didn't feel like it today. Pretty much it. Why not trying to scam the Discord today, Paul? Huh? 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 Right? Right? I guess scam is kind of the wrong word. Why? Why no? Why no trying to fool the Discord? Misleading looking ass. Yeah, misleading. That's the word. You dare walk into these hallowed halls and tempt the court with your lies? Uh huh. Life, but that works too. <laughs> Fuck me, I can't find my old mouse. By the way, that white one that you use for the uh, yeah, laptop when you travel, I, I have that. Delta twelve six two Chicago Center, Roger. What white one? Final today? You bought a uh, a white uh, one. That I think one of, one of the last times we went to Cupid's together for your yeah, laptop, and you kind of left it in my room, so I stuck it somewhere safe for you. Just verify you are Slant Lima. Whatever you just said did uh, not come through. Uh, up to three zero zero normal speed, uh, Delta one six two. I said I don't remember that one. Oh. Six twenty one with you. Jet lift six nine. And if you pop Chicago over here Roger. and grab my uh, backpack from over in the corner, the very back pocket is where it is. Yeah, right now I'm working on copying the uh, profile of my old one or something like that. 119.0 Chicago Center for United 655. United 2497, maintain 300 knots. 2497, Chicago Center United 655 with you uh, 180 for 12,000. Was it 119.0 or 119.9? I think 119.0. 9003 contact Cleveland Center 119.87. Cleveland Center 119. Help contact O'Hare Tower 1269. 47 heavy, reduced speed 210 knots. Speed 210 knots, American 47 heavy. I 
don't see. Okay. Chicago approach United 655 with you uh, 142 for 12,000. Mm -hmm. approach. Welcome aboard. Expect ILS 27 center approach. The O'Hare altimeter 3019. Advise yeah, when you are Damn, you're in front of me. I'm sorry, can you say last again? Uh, stand by. Etihad 85, I'll show you south of the localizer. Turn right heading 290 to rejoin. Etihad 85, establish on turn to localizer. Etihad 85. Okay. You're, you're established under localizer. Uh, three miles from Creco, cleared ILS, 27 center approach. Maintain 210 knots to 10 mile final. O one zero knots and total 10 mile final. Etihad 85. American 47, proceed direct to Nichols, cross Nichols at 9000. Cleared ILS, 27 center approach. Sorry, I didn't mean to snap at you. I missed the last part of what he said. Sorry, right, dude. It's the nature of this what we're doing. Lufthansa Cargo 383, turn right heading 270. Made even worse when we're not on the same frequency. Yeah. I have a localized signal for the car of 50. I really uh, need. Very heavy, Roger. Uh, yeah, turn right heading, uh, uh, I guess 280, join the localizer. Right, 280, join the localizer for 270, so the car of 50 is heavy. Chicago Tower, can you uh, repeat for United 655? United 655, I'm sorry. Um, once you have 270 that are programmed, um, the first fix on the approach should be Nichols, November Charlie Hotel Lima Sierra. Just let me know if your aircraft has that. Uh, yes, sir, I do have that. United 655. Um, fly, uh, just fly present heading, uh, turn left heading 320 for now, and then I'll, uh, you can expect uh, direct Nichols in a few minutes. Fly heading 320, expect direct Nichols, United 655. Lufthansa 65 Heavy Chicago Approach, are you here? Yeah, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need some silence for a bit. Well, not really silence, just, you know, I'm just trying to hear what's going on. Three miles from Nichols, cleared ILS, 27 center approach, 210 knots or greater until 10 DME. Thank you, 27 center ILS, and speed 210 until 10 DME. But expect direct Nichols. Etihad 85 Heavy, contact O'Hare Tower 126.9er. Yeah, it's it, it's like Heavy 126.9er. American 207, Chicago Approach, welcome. Uh, O'Hare Altimeter 3019er, expect ILS 27 Center Approach. Advise when able direct nickel. Approach, Lufthansa 65, 65 Heavy, Chicago Approach, uh, expect ILS 27 Center Approach. Turn, uh, descend and maintain 7000, turn left heading 080. Uh, expect ILS uh, 27 Center, uh, please repeat the L, Lufthansa 65, sorry. Lufthansa 65, Roger. Um, Actually, Lufthansa 65, climb, climb now, climb and maintain 10,000 traffic at your 9 o'clock, 5 miles, same altitude, uh, westbound. Climb in 10,000, Lufthansa 65. American 47 traffic at your 2 o'clock, 5 miles southbound, a heavy uh, A3400 climbing to 10,000. Report traffic in sight. 
Roger, we've got a massive uh, crowd in front of us. We cannot see it at the moment. American 47. Okay, American 47, Roger. He's climbing now. Should be no factor. He'll be around 800 above. United 655, proceed direct Nichols. Cross Nichols at 9000. Cleared ILS 27 Center approach. Proceed direct Nichols. Cross Nichols at 9000. United 655. Well, at Nichols, you're cleared for the ILS 27 Center approach. Cleared for the ILS 27 Center approach, United 655 at Nichols, sorry. Chicago first, good evening, Speed 153, call for 12, Okay, altitude one, intervention. Three, Chicago approach, welcome, expect ILS 27 Center approach. Uh, once you have that program, advise when you're ready to go direct Nichols. What's it, ILS 27 Center, advise when you're ready, 153. Lufthansa 65, turn left heading 090, vectors for the sequence. 090. Okay, but you were saying something about be, me being in front of you? United 787, Chicago approach, are you here? Yes, me? with you. Uh, United 787, hello, descend and uh, reduce speed 210 knots, then descend and maintain 7000, ILS 27 center approach. Okay, we'll reduce speed first to 210, then down to okay. 7000, we'll set up for 27 center. United Let's get our fixed data in United here. Once you uh, cross 10,000, reduce speed to 210 knots. Uh, reduce speed 210 after crossing 10,000, United 655. Uh, Lufthansa 65, descend and maintain 9,000, reduce speed uh, 210. 9,000, uh, reduce in uh, 210, Lufthansa 65. Speed 153, ready. Speed 153, Roger. Just, um, keep filing the approach for now. Approach that, keep on the approach, 153. Lufthansa 65, turn left, heading 360. Left, 360, Lufthansa 65. United 787, turn right, heading 250, join the localizer 27 Center. Right, heading 250 to join the localizer. United yeah, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to American shout at you like that. I know you said, you know, it's just high stress environment, but. No, nah, dude, it's fucking busy right now. We gotta be on it here. Yeah. Lufthansa Cargo 383 Heavy, contact O'Hare Tower 126.9. I'm listening too, just so I can get a feel of what else is happening, you know, because you can build a little picture in your head. Exactly. Hey, chat, we're going to be on the silent side. I want to make sure he can hear as well. Uh, America 207, in that case, uh, turn left heading 270. And uh, American 207, climb and maintain 9,000. Uh, climb and maintain 9,000, um, reduce speed 210. Uh, uh, Lufthansa 45 Heavy, turn left, heading 290, join the localizer. Chat, we're getting in. <coughs> it was busy as hell. But fuck it, this is what we are here for. 47, contact O'Hare Tower, 126.9er. 126.9er, thanks, American 47. This is pod racing. Now this is some motherfucking pod racing. Confirmed for Lufthansa 65. 8 affirmative, 65 heavy, turn left heading 290. I'm gonna go flaps to earlier shit, because that max speed of 250. Yeah, absolutely, 153, last picture program down. Okay, uh, Speedbird 153, advise when you're ready, once you have that program. Will do, 153. We got some serious, uh, cloud cover coming in here. Uh, uh, Speedbird 153, proceed direct Linda, cross Linda at 9000. Proceed direct Linda, cross Linda at 9000, 153. Speedbird, uh, Lufthansa 65, turn left, left turn heading 250, uh, and join the localizer. 250, and it's a bit too far for localizer, so can we proceed direct to uh, Jumbo, uh, Lufthansa 65? Oh, you have Jumbo? Sure, proceed direct Jumbo, Lufthansa 65 heavy. Uh, <laughs> he was excited. Um, descend and maintain 7,000 for now, I'll give you lower in a second. Now, let me get on the localizer Jumbo, uh, now. 7,000, Lufthansa 65. United 787, contact O'Hare Tower 126.9. Over to Tower 126.9, 787. Speedbird 153, contact uh, Chicago Approach 133.62. Uh, 
Bye-bye. Chicago Approach, American 524 with you at 12,000 crossing calls. American 524, Chicago Approach, welcome. Uh, ILS 27 Center Approach, O'Hare Altimeter 3019er. Altimeter 3019er, ILS 27 Center Approach, American 524. Approach hello, United 2497, descending to level 120. Uh, United 2497, Chicago approach, expect ILS 28 center approach, O'Hare altimeter 3019. Expect ILS 28 center approach, uh, altimeter 3019, United 2497. just confirm you are direct Jimbo. I'm not getting a traffic warning for somebody okay, I'm sorry, 15 miles like ahead of me. But, uh, okay. American 207, I see you drifting south of the localizer. Turn right heading 280 to rejoin descent and maintain 7,000. 280, 7,000. Lufthansa 65, descent, maintain 5,000. Uh, actually, um, proceed direct Jimbo. Uh, descent and maintain 4,000. Join the localizer at Jimbo. Uh, already inbound to Jimbo and at Jimbo join localizer, descent 4,000. Lufthansa 65. Thank you. United 655, contact O'Hare Tower 126.9-er. Over to Tower 126.9-er. United 655, see ya! See ya! American 524, able to go direct Nichols. Uh, direct Nichols. Contact over to Heavy, vacate right way. Chicago Tower United 655 with you. 5,200 descending 2,227 center approach. United 655 O'Hare Tower, runway 27 center, clear to land. Clear to land, 27 center, United 655. American 47, I just want to confirm, are we clear to reduce your speed? Uh, American 47, right. cancel, for sure. Cancel these sections, thanks, American 47. 145, and I'm gonna just add five to that and say 150. Right, we got landing clearance, I'm gonna get the landing lights on. Mizu! Fucking blap! Okay, I don't know what they're going to give me for ground. It could be either 1.9 or 1.75. Don't forget Nova Orion. Uh, Nova Orion, Nova Orion, German Cargo 383, contact tower 128.15, taxi. 12815, hotel from the tower, baby, baby. Etihad 8-5, heavy, cross runway 27 left at Mike, continue tax, or er, correction, um, monitor tower, monitor ground 121.9. What's uh, runway 27 left, uh, call ground 121, decimal 9, uh, it is 85, zero heavy, thank you, 85 heavy. 2,500. Alright, am I able to talk to you for a second, bud? Yeah. Uh, when I get down, I'm going to be using auto brakes three and as much reverser as I can try to get the hell out of the way for you because I know you're right behind me. Yeah, fair enough. I'll do the same. Okay, well, uh, VK left when Evil American 4, 7 and 3, see that last second. Uh, American 47, uh, State Park. We'll take anything, American 47, but we'll go Concourse Lima on Terminal 2. That's all right. 
All right, gear down. Roger, turn left on Echo, hold short, runway 228. On Echo, hold short, runway 228, American 47. I don't foresee a missed approach happening, but just in case, I'm going to set the altitude on the MCP. Fuck it, I'm starting the APU a little early. Chicago Tower, good day, Lufthansa 65. Sonda 65 O'Hare Tower, runway 27 center, clear to all. Uh, 27 center, clear to land, Lufthansa 65. Hey, Perez. Yeah? I just did a match north under the F-20. Okay. Missile kill on a MiG-23. Oh, my. Guns, ki guns kills on an F-14. And an F-16. Out of missiles, low on guns, out of chaff and flare. I won the turn fight against the 16, too. That's how you know he was bad. Dear God. Um, and, um, I go in to go, or I, I break off the fight to go land and rearm. And I get called the. I'm not. I can't repeat it. I can't repeat it. The P word. I get called the P word. And not. And not the one that ends in O. Oh my God. All right, in my airplane. American 47 cross runway 22 right. Hold short taxiway Bravo. Approaching minimums. Cross runway 22 right and hold short taxiway Bravo. American 47. Minimums. Alright, full reverser. That is 787, cross runway 27 left at Romeo, monitor ground point 9. Okay, clear across 77, uh, with monitor ground on 1.9. 60 knots, reverser stowed, manual braking. Two hundred and eight feet per minute. That was a fucking beautiful landing, chat. Two hundred sixty-five. Welcome to Chicago State Park. Uh, going to Gate Bravo Twelve, sir. United sixty or six fifty-five. United six fifty-five. Roger. Taxi via Romeo. Hold short two seven. Taxi via Romeo. Hold short two seven. United six fifty-five. American 47 cross runway 27 left at Bravo, monitor ground point 9 on the other side. 27 left at Bravo, monitor ground point 9, American 47, thank you, bye bye. God damn, Chad, I'm proud of that. <laughs> That was fucking exhilarating, dude. <laughs> Thank you. 
looking at it, 65 cross runway 27 left at uh, Romeo, monitor ground, point nine the other side. Cross 27 left, monitor ground, United 655. Lufthansa 65, welcome to Chicago. Turn left on taxiway Echo, hold short runway 22 right. Uh, turn left on Echo, hold short runway 2. Confirm, uh, hold short to turn left, uh, let's come to 60. Lufthansa 65, hold short runway 22 right. Hold short to the right and your park in terminal 5 today. One two one point nine. Left on Bravo. Target forty seven. Have you heard ground? Do you like to leave again? Uh, yes, please. I'm asking for you. Target forty seven. Have you Roger? Taxi parking by Bravo Alpha Alpha twenty. Bravo Alpha Alpha twenty. I'm asking for you. Thanks. Thank you very much for this incredible event to everyone in Chicago and there all the other pilots who had nothing else to do but to this Charlie Bob. 402 knots. Seems legit. Chicago ground, good afternoon. United 655, uh, just crossed 27 left. Looking for gate, uh, Bravo 12. United 655. Over ground taxi parking via golf cross right floor left. Taxi via golf cross runway four left, United 655. Oh, making the left here. Got it. Wait a minute, Paul, what do you mean 403 knots? Ground speed? It's a GS. But uh, also, good night, buddy. Thanks for staying up to watch. Really, really appreciate you, dude. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, window heat can come off. Uh... Chicago Grant, hello, American 9341, looking to get IFR clearance to so Washington dollars of Quebec. The thing up Oh, okay. Yeah, I get what you're saying now. I get what you're saying. Yeah, no. Uh, have a good night, dog. I'm really appreciate you staying up. I know it must be super late there, but I appreciate you, even though you fucking lie to me. Oh, Dave, the landing was fucking beautiful. You gotta, you gotta back the video up and take a look, bro. Inbound ground, Delta 420, heavy taxiing on my gate. It's my aircraft. Delta 420. Oh, you still haven't touched down yet. Uh, I'm about to. I'm about two miles out. Yeah, I'm Copy. about to pull into uh, oh, the United ramp. Oh, this is my turn right here. Eighty-five, eighty-eight. Anchor guys, for this. You prevent it watching. Well, that's sexy. Seven eighty-seven up there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And Bravo Twelve should be on my left, just past the uh, heavy.
Ah, oh, shit. Totally fucked pulling into the gate. I was preoccupied trying to turn off the taxi light. Not perfect, but it'll do. Alright, everyone, welcome to fucking Chicago. And damn, did we fucking sweat and bleed to get here. Jen's hell yaw damper can come off too because we ain't flying this hoe again. She's getting parked for the night. <laughs> the bread has been buttered. I repeat, the bread has been buttered. Speaking of buttered bread, let's go see. Did you already land? You already on the ground, Jerry? What's that? Are you already on the ground? Yeah. Oh shit, where you at? Taxiing over, looking for a hotel six. Oh. Uh, hotel is on the southeastern part of the airport. I know where that. Yeah. Yeah, I know where it's at. Oh, I see you. There you are, buddy. Damn, I didn't get to see your landing. I'm sad. That's okay. It wasn't great. Hey, you're on the ground and the plane is in one piece. I'd call that a win. Bravo, Victor, Victor, Bravo, Victor, Victor, two. Oh, fuck me. I need to do that. Speedbird, one, three, over ground. Bravo, D, heavy. Passengers are de that the United Quest ground power. Once it's connected, I'm gonna shut down the APU. He told me to cross, I believe. And ground power. Kill the packs. Oh, shit. Well, chat, that was one doozy of a fucking Chicago flight. Ground, American 524 is with you. We just crossed 27 left on Romeo looking for gate hotel 6. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself in Discord. Alright, ladies Hello. and gentlemen, that is going Daniel, to be it. Daniel. Uh, let me... Fuck, man, I completely forgot about the music through that whole Taxi second Park flight. Golf, Tango, Tango, Alpha, cross four left, American 524. But anyway, well, y'all know the shtick. If y'all enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed flying it, make sure you hit that like button. If you are here and you are not subscribed yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It would make me very happy. As a matter of fact, you don't get a choice. You have to do it. Your emperor commands it. Thank you all for being here. I really do appreciate you. My friends uh, that were here, I love you guys. Like, you guys are the best. Especially you, Dave. Especially you. And Paul. Fuck it. Stretch your legs a bit and then let me know if you want to do a hell dive. Oh, fuck yeah. Although I might end up going to spend some time with Sasha. I'm not entirely sure, but 
I do want to do some hell divers tonight if uh if you're still around when I am ready to do so. But uh other than that, y'all have yourselves a good one and I'll see you all next time. Bye bitches. <laughs>